today, as you can see on our screen, we are carrying on with where we began two days ago. I think we're probably going to finish this run. Last time we played, as our cultures suggest, uh, Pamanyungan, the Polynesians, Rapa Nui. And then we decided, for whatever reason, that we were going to lean down the piracy route instead. So, we are now moving through Humankind uh, into Era 4. Then, of course, we've got Era 5 and 6. I'm hoping to play New Zealand, New Zealand and Era 6. Bet that was a great sentence for the viewer at home. Um, not sure about Era 5. In terms of the map, we're doing pretty good. Uh, obviously, we have our one true, <laughs> one true toady. Uh, none other than King Pete himself. Uh, and we've kind of got the rest of this continent to ourselves. Let's just jump straight in. Check out... Mm, check out some vague diplomacy. Remind ourselves who we're playing against. How well they're doing. Fame-wise, we're doing pretty dang good. And we're about an era ahead. If player two catches up through the errors, they will still provide a challenge, I think. But I think we keep rolling with this tempo game and see what we can do. Our cities are ginormous, full of food, and sometimes a little bit overburdened, and we're starting, finally, to produce uh, a little bit of a navy, which we're gonna need uh, if we want to be pirates. Okay, and I think that's probably our two or three minute recap. So, hopefully you, you feel somewhat caught up. Um, if I zoom right out, you can see, bam, 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 one, two, three, four cities, and we are just stretching across this new world like there's no tomorrow. The race for the new world is well and truly on. Pete sending some swordsmen. Nice. <laughs> nice. They do look very cool, though. I'll give them that. Um, and we've got something wrong here. Should have Islam as state religion. It's just a grievance. I think that's fine. We can just leave that. Uh, we should also check in on the World Congress, because this has just sort of appeared and started. Hey, welcome in. Uh, by the way, if you're tuning in live, Loving these regular streams. Thank you for saying so. Um, and of course, if you're watching the VOD after the fact, looking at the numbers from last stream, lots of people watched the VOD. Way more than I thought. Stoked to catch the beginning. One of these. <laughs> hey, good stuff. Kia ora, friend. And Dio, nice to see you as well. With the big capitals, I love it. Okay. Um, paid wages versus plundered wages. We like paid wages. For some reason, our vassal doesn't, but... That's okay. Alternatively, though, if we're going to lean down the piracy route, maybe we should. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to vote plundered wages. Stuff it. I'm going to vote against <laughs> against ours, because I think that'll be a good way moving forward. Uh, on the doctrines screen, we can pump influence, which we've traditionally had quite a bit of, into some of these uh, effects. We have to spend influence to unlock the effect. This geopolitical one is active at the moment, as you can see. And... Minus 40% loss of stability. Plus two science on research. We do like this. Let's unlock this. I kind of want to move this way though. Everyone else is quite conservative. Plus three science on cities or outposts. Plus two science on research quarter. Technologies discovered by at least half of the world's empires will be provided to all empires without them. We definitely don't want that. <laughs> Discovered by an empire with a state religion will automatically provided will be automatically provided to other empires that share it. Okay, we probably actually don't want to lean too heavy into that. Because otherwise we're just going to be giving stuff away. Uh, another... Oh, it's not even a lake. It might actually be a sea. I was just about to say we'll put another harbour in this lake, but... Not only do they look fantastic across from each other, they might actually be in the real ocean. Incredible. Um, I also just need to quickly remind myself where we're at on the tech tree. Plus one city cap with theology. Okay. Uh, we want to get to three mastered ship. Because that'll give us colony plan. So our new cities will have all of this great stuff. We also quite want gun... We would quite like gunpowder. Ooh, we could get it now. Let's get it now. Because it's very important, right? We unlock our, our pirate buccaneers, which are going to be great. We also have the sloop, which is a, a very fast, agile ship. We need gunpowder for that too. Let's queue it up. That's kind of our technology put on autopilot, at least, for a little while, I'd say. Oops, sorry. Accidentally started creating a highlight on the YouTube stream. I didn't even know YouTube could do that. Okay. We're copying from Twitch, one thing at a time. 
Oh, this is also one of our unique units, the Māori Tangata that we got, uh, I think, last era. Didn't really put him to much great use, but we'll continue to use him as a colonial force, get out and grab as much of this good stuff as we can. Horse, oh my god. There's bound to be gunpowder down here. Oil, gunpowder, uranium, iron. It's so resource rich down at the poles. So let's take it. Oh, I've already got most of it, okay. We forgot this one though, so I'll send someone back that way. I say we, it, entirely me. Uh, a little bit of piracy? Maybe. We're also probably going to need someone to just fight a little bit to get our stars. So, having a look at the fame standings. Pink, purple, black. Or we just go for the throat and take down the Byzantines. Mm, we are sort of encroaching on them as well. It might be a battle for the new world. And I'm not mad about it, actually. Uh, oh, and speaking of pirate ships, here are some, granted not overly threatening looking, but I promise, still pirate ships. <sighs> Time to get the buccaneers. You're right. It's your boy, Hal. You're right. <laughs> let's, let's just smash through as much of this as we can. Uh, the smart thing might be to build a couple more science districts. Notre Dame still needs a few more. I think I cancelled one before, actually. <laughs> My bad. So we'll surround Notre Dame with them. Because it now has a plus eight science benefit to it. And we could also use our military stability if our cities are struggling a bit. So this one here is struggling. Because there's not enough farmers' jobs and too much food. So people <laughs> we've got so many people, where do we put them all? Um, so let's use our military stability. Turn four of them into militia. Upgrade the militia into pikemen. And send them on their merry way, I think. See ya. And now this place will grow again. All is good. Some basically free military units. You can't go wrong. Mm, I almost forgot what this city was. Is that, since when do we have this? Ah, of course. It was our most recent one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. I upgraded the city center. And it's turned into like a... Just a big old head. Okay. Neat. It's kind of... Looks kind of terrifying. I guess that's the point. Stay away or else. Um, two, uh, six. Uh, the yields are alright. Let's just... Put a bit of science down. That one was actually better, so we'll trade some people for it. Uh, our stability is hurting a little bit, though. And we have almost no space for any stability districts. So let's get <laughs> a lone garrison. Exchange some people for it. That'll help us out a little bit. Could put a commons quarter there. Only provides five. Let's put a garrison there instead. Get a couple of garrisons up there. <laughs> Just what this island needed. It was a tropical paradise. And within one turn, I've turned it into a real hellscape. Cheap exploratory ships are brilliant, brilliantly on theme, I agree. And of course it all sinks in very well with the free update as well. Everything came together for humankind, I think quite well. Keeping with the pirates? Yeah, it's a, it's a big old skull. <laughs> He's a crossbone or something maybe. It makes it look a little bit like a theme park, in a nice way. Like Pirate Island or something. Especially that city, actually, in particular. Because of the nature of it being out in the middle of the ocean with basically nothing around it. Alright, let's keep moving. I have to zoom out to get my bearings on this ginormous new world. Should I upgrade it again? More skulls, they say. Five hundred dollars? Probably not. I think we'll just let that happen in its own right. <laughs> but we probably should make all of these uh, skull cities. Because they're pretty cool. There you go. Oh, can't forget Hattusa. Boom. Uh, 
where are you, administrative center? Where? There you go. <laughs> it's probably a bit overkill, but we can also do all of the, uh, what were formerly outposts too. Just, just to really ram it home. Let's have a wee geese up this way. Use these cheap, fast, exploratory boats for what they do best. <laughs> a little bit late to the party, but that's all good. If I want to get this gunpowder, I probably need more science too, actually. We're playing on quick speed. Let's, um... Let's focus down around this strategic resource. These are also going to be strategic resources. So we might as well... There's horses. We can't build near the Mirai. Uh, because it, the stability penalty would probably be too much. Though it is tempting. And uh, I might just come back there later and, and build right next to it. We'll see. Get a few of those bad boys online. Food, we're still... Far too... Far too overburdened. Um, let me get a couple of extra food jobs laced in here as well. Stability, totally fine. Asura should be able to run on autopilot for a while. Hatusa is going to actually build a little bit of a science hub up by this northern outpost. That works. Um, get a couple of just-in-case garrisons as well, in case we need to spawn units by those cities in case something goes wrong. And that place is looking pretty good. Ooh, quad dreams. <laughs> Said 1,000 years ago. Infrastructure is probably more important than these boats right now. I'm going to defund them. Tax cuts. Okay. And what do you look like in the sea? Just for a rough gauge, 38 combat strength. We are, of course, not boats. So <laughs> we won't declare war this turn. Another skull on Pirate Island? This is amazing. This place. Pirate Island. The greatest theme park. And very creatively named, I know. I know. Took me a long time to think up that one. Um, anyway. I still don't want these crappy boats. We have a spot free next to Pirate Island. Neat. For now, we'll just build a garrison there, and I am fully comfortable uh, smashing it down later once we get, say, the New Zealand unique district, or maybe our era 5 one, which speaking of, actually, I might run a poll on that. You clearly support the choice to choose the Caribbeans. Um, what am I looking for? I want to get into the cultures and have a wee geese ahead of time. Uh, I think... Yeah, maybe the Germans are the alternate pick. I want to choose ones that obviously lean into our theme. So the Hawaiians, uh, very obviously a good choice and probably my preference, even though the Cape of Feathers might not be overly useful. I think these warriors look great. And this district, very foodie. This could solve uh, a few of our woes, maybe. Uh, the other one that is traditionally kind of boaty are the Germans. The Germans would be a militarist again. They give combat strength to our naval units via trait. They have a very powerful U-boat that we probably won't unlock until a bit later uh, in a great district. I think those are the two strong first contenders. Um, haven't really played much as the Scots. They're probably my least played culture in the game, but I don't think they quite fit. Pirates? Who are? <laughs> Just stay as the pirates? You know what? I'll put it in as an option. It's a terrible one, um, gameplay-wise. <laughs> but... But let democracy speak for itself. Um, so, for Era 5, and it'll probably be our last decision as well, because I think I'm just going to uh, be the authoritarian that I am and choose New Zealand in Era 6. And I'm sure you'll support me on that. <laughs> uh, and I am accidentally starting a Q&A. Let's start a poll instead. Neat. Alright, so our choices will be the Militarist Germans... The new Hawaiians, or transcend 
as pirates. <laughs> uh, a tip if you're new to humankind, because I know there are a few new players floating around, and, and we talked about it a little bit in chat last time too. Uh, don't transcend. Gen generally, not a great idea. <laughs> Unless, of course, you need to keep your pirates. I think the Germans, the increased production, I agree. The increased production would be great. Do we get any, really, uh, with that a plus five influence per workers? Can we scale that into production in any way? We could interact more with the Congress, but not really. Uh, the Warriors are great because they don't require gunpowder. We could build them now, <laughs> weirdly. Um, and this district is outstanding. That being said, oops, wrong way. Sort your alphabet out. Come on. Germans, plus one industry per population, plus three industry per adjacent maker's quarter, plus ten pollution. Pretty good. The U-boat is great, but, um, like I say, kind of slow to unlock. So maybe don't weight that as heavily as you might weight something else. It's a close call, actually. Once you mentioned the increased production, that kind of turned my head a little bit. That being said, we have played quite an ocean foodie game. And uh, we're going to get a lot of ocean food out of that district. I think it's kind of OP, actually. Mm. The counterbalance to that, because I love a counterbalance, would be that it's quite late game. And by the time, particularly, you're moving through the contemporary era, you're getting some some meat yields. Pineapple pirates. Hey, kia ora, hug. Welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. German pirates. <laughs> Hansar! <laughs> I like it. I like it, Zotok. You did good. What are these two rogue spearmen doing out in the middle of the ocean? They've probably been here for like a thousand years. Um, oh, they could claim this island next to Tikal, which actually is Pete's. Really settled that quickly, huh? You're not pillaging my... No, no, no. Just walk... <laughs> merely walking by. Alright. Keep holding off. Seafaring mastery. We're gonna get the cog, everybody. <laughs> the cog. Great. Um, it will be more powerful than basically every single one of our ships and probably a lot of our land base units too. So we should probably build them. Of course, we're moving towards this grand prize. We'll keep up the great work. Science is looking dreadful. I wonder if it's worth actually just building this extra city now and not waiting the one, two, three, six turns. Nah, it's not actually. That's that's a dumb idea. <laughs> Why? Uh, because I'm hoping that the new infrastructure that will be built once we get this new technology will outweigh the yield of the city over the next six turns. Have I done the mental maths? No. Will I? Absolutely not. But it feels about right. <laughs> know what to do with these two. They came out here to colonize, but everybody's taken everything. You served us well, brave boys. Goodbye. <laughs> Disbanded in the middle of the ocean. rip -a Who are the AIs in the game? Forgot to ask last time. Pete, rip. Yeah, big rip. Uh, let's do a quick canvas through. Super fast. Pete, my vassal. Dusk is here, too. Saw you in the chat earlier, overnight. Uh, Spiff, looking, looking <laughs> a little bit sort of paradoxical, almost. The top hat. Take your hat off. Uh, little Kerr in pink, and then actually just one of the AI ones, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, not a custom one. Should have been you, Huck. Should have been you. Arm steel with dusk. Absolutely. And we have a little bit of leverage on offer. Aggressive diplomacy may force foreign officials to reveal the location of any uncovered, undercover assets in our territories. We don't really care about that. Placate, also not really. Our war score is huge against a lot of the people we're fighting against. Um, still, no, you can't have one. Because we might fight you. Maybe. Upgrade to a great swordsman. And keep these boats heading over probably here-ish. And then with the power of... Oh, I should have settled on the uh, industry there. Might move it later. 
with the power of our new colonial territories over here, we'll also probably have a pretty good land base to fight. As well as obviously being pirates in the sea and all that good stuff. A new wonder can be claimed. Okay. So Machu Picchu was the strategy, but last time when I was panning around the map, I didn't really see a mountain anywhere. All your other cities gain food equal to 50% of this city's food is really good, but I don't want to take it and then lock myself into building a crappy wonder. <laughs> it's so dumb if I do that. Uh, is there anything else that could tempt me? Well, there are a couple of new ones here. Uh, this hotel, for example, plus 100 money per units destroyed. Could have used that last turn. <laughs> units disbanded in foreign territories grant population to my capital. Interesting. Um, and then Brussels Town Hall. Influence per adjacent district, industry per adjacent market, and money per adjacent makers. Honestly, a pretty powerful district. Gain 50 fame for each previously claimed cultural wonder. Once completed, gain 50 bonus fame for each new cultural wonder. So we can really pump out a bit of fame and some alright fims. But I'm going to stupidly claim Machu Picchu as death. Do as say, not as do. Um, okay, the final tenant. Shall I take plus 50 science on our wonders instead of donate generously, which is traditionally the one I go for because of the plus three holy science? I think so, actually. Yeah, let's... I've been complaining about how low on science we've been this whole time. So let's get it. I'd also like to note, for some reason, we're the only one with a religion. Did we just dominate real early? Um... Kind of, actually. It looks like we kind of did. Oh, the faith game has guided us well. Uh, how's the poll doing? Early start, 66% of people are saying the Hawaiians, 19% going for the Germans, and 16% to transcend with pirates. The German vote there, disappointingly low. I expected there to be a bit more of a challenge, considering how aggressive they could be in buffing our pirate ships. Interesting. Hey, Jake, good to see you. And thank you to... Who was that? I didn't hear the alert come up. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just well ahead of it, but I see we got one extra subscriber over on Twitch. Thank you to Misha1993 uh, for subscribing with Twitch Prime two minutes ago. I appreciate it. Wish it was a films review before you chose a religious tenant, but you choose one. Uh, Pete, that's a great idea. An outstanding idea, actually. <laughs> I agree. I've never thought about that before. Seems like a relatively simple thing. And it would be nice because it could sort of remove a little bit of that guesswork around it. Um, fanatical plus 25% faith on districts, cheaper units, or 250 bucks. I don't care about the money at all. Uh, this is unlikely to shift our axes in any meaningful way. We are training some boats. I'm going to go fanatical though. We're kind of faithy. <laughs> Sorry, Hans. We won't be pirates this time. That's right. You'll have to stick with your traditional, uh, your, your traditional line through history, I'm afraid. There may not be German pirates this time. <laughs> it's going to be Hawaiian pirates instead. Which also kind of has, if we lean into those stereotypes around both of these cultures, kind of a fun theme to it as well. Lots of flowers with these pirates. Lots of flowers. Movement very slow through the devotion. We need to stick to the coast as much as we can. Down 200 bucks, just floating along. Not bad. If they settle this, I'm going to be quite upset. <laughs> I'm going to be audibly upset. So I'm going to quickly sneak here and do the old panic outpost. I'm going to remember to relocate this one to somewhere with a bit more industry. Plus 13, but minus 24 food. That's a bit nasty. But never fear, because they'll get food from their harbour. We should also start hooking up as many of these um, strategic resources as we can too. I guess we didn't have the technology quite yet to get gunpowder. We can at least see it though, so that's a good start. We don't know what any of those resources are. Oh my goodness, look at these four luxuries. I'm sorry if you were sitting here watching this. <laughs> sorry, three luxuries and some horses. Really got to get onto that. 500 
62 influencer turns, so we're still pumping out the fims like there's no tomorrow. Shouldn't be a huge problem. Mm, one more grand far temple. I love it to go down. Let's replace uh, our garrison with this grand fire. Oh, actually, we don't need to. We'll put it up here next to a pirate skull because that looks pretty cool. <laughs> I should have saved that for a unique district, but um, I'm going to do it. I think we'll also pump out eight population to just get it done. Add the extra stability up at 100%. This place can grow pretty happily now. Some new infrastructures are coming online, plus four money on harbour and five money per naval trade route. Bam. Once we start to get this stuff online, I think, uh, I think we're going to be good. Okay. How's your infrastructure looking? Terrible, sir. Please stop building beakers and start building infrastructure. They're shouting. Let's put the fish market at the start because it's very good. Don't think we need a lot of this other stuff. Oh, actually, maybe some stability. Okay, go on. We'll trade four people for an aqueduct. I think that's a totally fair trade. Ten science, three money, 139 money off this great fish market. I'm just going to buy it outright. Joe Rockefeller over here. How much from this one? 143. Neat. And then eight bucks from a food market. We hate normal food, but if it comes from the sea in this slightly more modern pirate nation, we just froth it. I mean, look at this profit. $143. This is three bucks from some government administration. <laughs> nice. Well, this is definitely the new world, unfortunately at 312 influence. We're gonna have to wait a turn or two. <laughs> Just gonna sit here. Okay. Hopefully this guy won't come on here and try and take this specific island from me because it's kind of a juicy one. Technology. We're about to have the ability to get gunpowder, then we'll be on to three mastered ship. These guys are absolutely pissed because we took this territory off them. Ha ha ha. Relocate it to somewhere more impressive. Hoover up a 45 food harbor. <laughs> These outposts are stupidly large, probably. They're all going to be exploding with population. At least four. I've seen them sometimes get up to like six or seven. Obviously, this one's quite new. But what's it doing? That's actually only growing in two turns. Are any of these big? No. Uh, th this one is already overburdened and continuing to grow. Good to know. Get five pop out of that, four pop out of that. So a big city's just kind of going to appear out of nowhere, almost. Overnight, the pirates in this sort of pop-up city. A hello from Germany! Hansa! But Hawaii will be fine too. Hey, thanks! Thanks for your first time in the chat, and thanks for using um, your Twitch Prime subscription over on Twitch as well. Uh, checking in with the view count. Nowhere close to what we had on the first part of the stream, though that's pretty normal. Um, but we're at about 65 people and 32 likes. Not too bad uh, for a sleepy Thursday morning or Wednesday evening for probably the, the lion's share of you. Wait, Wednesday? Yes. <laughs> I always get the days wrong. Oh, Mr. Krabs, I see an opportunity out this way. The Bungle Bungle Range. Plus three science on Commons Quarter, plus five food on Commons Quarter. Looks like a neat new wonder. And unfortunately, these guys are trying to take it from me. <laughs> Get off my land, Pete. You're so unnecessarily threatening. Huzzah for gunpowder! We have it unlocked. Neat. Uh, it'll also, of course, open up some new trade opportunities for us once other people want to start using it. So it's not just the aggressive side that'll benefit here. Wooster over on the YouTube chat says, uh, Vedamtans? Good evening. There you go. <laughs> I am the bridge between worlds. Ooh. I was going to talk about Ahsoka, but I probably shouldn't because spoilers. A great show. A great show. 
Let's run away from these guys who have been stranded here for about 2,000 years and are just desperately looking for someone to fight so that they can use their weapons on somebody other than themselves. God, I want to get the claim down though, don't I? Yeah. Let's see how we go. I just got here. Did you get an answer to the Arazar hut? Yes, Al. We did. Um, I'll flick through them very quickly here, uh, but I won't talk about them again because I've introduced them uh, uh, three times this stream and I don't want to bore the, the poor VOD viewer who's sitting at home going, why does this guy keep talking about who the AIs are? <laughs> um, so the arms deal lets us create each other's unique units. Not very good for me as the technolo technologically superior uh, to be changing it through. Uh, we also had Lewis Brindley. We had Lewis and Spiff, Dusk and Pete, and AI, little Kerr. Yeah. <laughs> and poor Lulu got taken out basically right at the start of the game through terrible management of his military, I'd add. Stop watching Star Wars after Obi-Wan. Buddha Soak is good. I think it's good. Yeah. I love watching it, actually. It's great. I wonder how good it is for someone who hasn't seen any Clone Wars, though. It's probably still really good. Speaking of probably really good, should we get some guns? Or maybe some cogs, actually. Let's get some cogs. I'm going to commission a fleet of four cogs. We're just going to buy them outright. Straight out of Pirate Island. Very on theme. Let's also get <laughs> their Hunnic Horde. Wow. Thank you, Spiff. Nah, let's get some buccaneers to go with them as well, shall we? Pretty slow to make those here, actually. Mm. It'll do. Oh, look at the glow from Pirate Island up the north there, too. It looks so cool right on the edge of the world. Probably better if you've seen them, for sure. I haven't seen much Rebels, though. I didn't really... I don't know if this is a hot take, but I didn't really like the art style. I found that the characters looked a bit odd. So I didn't really watch it. I sort of picked out a couple of episodes based on like a Google search to try and pick up a little bit of context. Though I think I did watch season one about 10 years ago or whenever it first came out. Definitely better if you've watched Clone Wars though, surely. Uh, plundered wages. Yeah, we're happy with that. We kind of did some diplomatic maneuvering behind the scenes to get it. No effect, minus 20% buyout, minus 50% cost. We don't really need to fund that. I don't think. Because probably other people will benefit a lot more than we will. And we're a selfish player. A selfish empire, I should say. Uh, that poor horse got taken down. Don't worry, I brought it back up just in case. Huck, my dude. Always in meetings. A man of many meetings. Feels bad, man. Rebels art style grew on me. But it comes into its own towards the end of season one and beyond. Good to know, and kind of makes sense with my I've only really watched season one. <laughs> Except for maybe some clips since, you know, the odd episode from later. I'll pay more attention to that next time I do. Like the changes, I should say. I'll pay more attention to the changes. Let's send our boats up here. Enough gas bagging. Let's do a bit of fighting. So we've got 100 war support so we can declare a formal war. And I think we should. Screw it. We're going to war. And we're immediately retreating because I've got too many boats. <laughs> I think I could have won that fight, but I, I just, I don't want to lose my cogs, like, right at the start. Give me a break. Remastered ship's just about to come online. So, next turn, we establish a city here. Oh, of course, they have to fight a vessel, too. Sorry, Pete. Uh, and we just rush this war. The holy city of Asura would like to get extra faith. Eh, let it celebrate. Let the people have their cake. 
Let's get wolves. Let's get... Oh, the garrisons are pretty bad here. Maybe commons quarters. Smash one down and replace that money district is tempting. But let's just lace a couple... Ooh, we could put it... Yeah, let's lace a couple around. Buy those walls. Probably need some more food districts too. Hopefully the stability will kind of balance itself out. Now that we've declared war... Are we going to perish? I hope not. Have I lost all of my trade? It doesn't look like it. We're still making plenty of cash money. And we've got new opportunities as well. Look at all of this that I'm just ignoring. Oh, money. <laughs> Give me all the trade. We should have started with the luxuries, probably. Um, though some do provide food and stuff, so it's probably not the end of the world. Turn 82, coming up. Cheeky place down Garnet Star. Thank you kindly. And look at our vassal go. One of the things that has changed somewhat recently in humankind is that we can reinforce our ally as well. So I let them control my two dudes, but then the AI ran away, so it didn't matter. But we could have reinforced them. And that was a feature that, um, that was really missing from the start of humankind. Not just in multiplayer, but in single player too, I think. Um... And now it's here. I haven't had much of a chance to try it out because I don't often find myself in a position like this where I have an ally who's near me and can fight. Trade doesn't really stop with war now. That's also true. Um, except I'm, I'm imagining I should be the target of plundering and um, what's the word that they use? Blockages. I should, I'm imagining I'll be the target of blockages. Ooh, that's a bad. That's a bad. <laughs> Poor ship. Cannot be done. Okay, so we can't poach because we're still retreating. But we will be able to poach soon. So let's wait here. And hopefully do a bit of poaching. Um, What's your movement going to be at sea? You're going to be really slow. No, actually you're fine. Let's chuck a pirate on these pirate ships. <laughs> Finally, the plan is starting to come together. Um, unfortunately, that uses all of his movement, though. So, a bit of a yikes. Might actually just send the boats out. <laughs> you can sail along behind. Hmm. So, the barbs are going to rush here and try and destroy this as quickly as they can, which is totally fair. Three mastered ship is complete. So where do we want it? I think just I think right there probably, and I'm just slightly short on influence, so one more turn will do. These units I really couldn't care less about, so we'll just sort of run them in. If they get into a fight and they lose. That's a shame. If they get into a fight and they win, yeah. A minor benefit. I'll save my influence, I think. Just to make sure that I can get the city next turn and then do any other priorities. Oh, we got the um, the Faded Lady Notre Dame event. I think I want to keep it alive, though. Let's renovate it. Hopefully it doesn't take us a decade. Um, cultural exchange. Plus 5% influence on Empire with the Mississippians. I'll counter it. If you want to pay for it, you're most welcome. But I don't want to... I don't really need that. Especially. So we're going to let Spiff suffer. Instead of cooperating. <laughs> what are we voting on now? Divine... Uh, mandate versus natural right. Hmm. I don't really mind either way. I might vote for div divine mandate.
Looks like we're not going to win that one. Might need to come back and do some... Should have done some bribery, actually. I think we had a little bit of leverage on offer. Ah, that is right, Al. Although, I kind of get what you mean, Pete. I do. Return for each envoy unit in their territory. It's only one envoy, so it's probably not a threat, though that is a great way for them to catch up. Alright, bam. Nassau. <laughs> the pirate kingdom uh, grows once more. How does it want to grow? What do I want to build? Let's just get some buccaneers. Let's get an army of five buccaneers. And then, of course, we'll need to focus in on districts and the like. Uh, we should probably also start attaching it up. Gobble, gobble, gobble up all of this stuff. That way we can... Hmm. So we could spawn them down here. But we need a garrison first. So stuff it, that'll do. Grab that one as well. Grab that one as well. Okay, stability just starting to wane now. The garrison is only going to take me one turn. So I'm going to say, let's do it. Set that as the spawn point. That way we can pump pirates right out here. Might do a little bit of plundering there. And speaking of plundering... My dudes! It's time for pirates, right at the end of this era, to do what pirates do best. Let's poach some resources. Om nom 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 nom. Right. We'll steal them, we'll make them, we'll build them. Everybody's a winner, and it's time to move through to the next era. And because we're playing a momentum game, not a fame star game, we go now? <laughs> I think we go now. 55% of voters. We had 76 votes in total, uh, which is not bad considering there are less than 76 people watching live. That's awesome. 55% um, <laughs> of the vote went to the Hawaiians, 20% to the Germans, and Transcenders Pirates actually made an outstanding uh, second place finish on 25%. It bet the Germans. What is going on? And also, thank you to uh, Archibuzz or Archibuzz. All hail the king of the pirates. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, you've been subscribed for four months on Twitch, and I really appreciate that because I haven't been so active over the last couple of months uh, in terms of live streaming anyway. So I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Right, back to the task at hand. Sorry, Germany. We've completely snubbed you in favor of the Hawaiians. We can build their core warriors immediately. They're a gunner that has bonus combat strength against damage targets, and we're going to get a whole load of food out of this. <laughs> What's your suggestion for difficulty? Well, it kind of depends how, how competent and experienced you are um, with these kinds of games and with humankind. Really. Like, that's... I, I couldn't really say. Um, I prefer around civilization difficulty, but uh, entirely up to you, really. It's a themed game. Can't go Germans. That is... Hey, Jimmy. That is true. German pirates, though. I mean, look the feeling. <laughs> kind of a feeling. <laughs> Boom! The world gets larger. The world the gets larger. Pirates become more civilized. And we move through to humankind's second last era, the industrial era. And coincidentally, we've just picked up the Man of War and our Sloop. <laughs> the Sloop's a bit late, but man alive. Uh, we're going to build some, I think. Let's see. So the Man of War is a capital ship. Expensive. Uh, lots of... Look at that resource requirement. It's only increased by 3%, so it's not the end of the world. This one should be much cheaper, faster, nimbler. And still fairly strong at 49 strength, honestly. Over to naval base one. Um, if we had. <laughs> Come on, form your words, Jumbo, you can do it. If we attach this. 
we can then use this harbour spawn. Oh, here's our new lake district too. So this one is a lot different to actually most benefits, or most of the traditional benefits in humankind, which have favoured um, shallow water. This one favours deep ocean. So we want to try and build it where we can build it, so it can't be built in the ocean. But it, it sits next to as many ocean tiles as possible. So like here's pretty good, 47, <laughs> glitch it the F out. Um, yeah, let's do that. Nice. Oh, back to an agrarian, we have the greener pastures one as well, so we could potentially shift a whole load of pots into the city. I don't know why we'd really want to do that, though. Considering just how fast it's growing at the moment, I don't think there's a need. The dream district for the pirates. The, for Pirate Island in particular, because it's surrounded by deep ocean. Um, a little bit crammed in up here, but this place is going to get huge. And if we take a look at what it actually looks like, I think it looks very cool too. Adds this, like, sea wall almost out and around. Sick. We're reclaiming land. That would be a cool feature too, actually. Man of Wars are so cool, aren't they? They have this kind of... What do you what do you want? A white peace proposal. I refuse. They have this kind of on the one hand really fierce, strong look to them, and on the other hand a, a really sophisticated, almost elegant look to them. $485 to upgrade our cogs to sloops. We'll do that no problem. Send the pirate along for the ride. Uh, these two units have probably done their dash. Let's get rid of them. Could have upgraded them. I ref prefer to just delete people, obviously. 56 food. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. That's still pretty good. Damn, we need food bad. Look at how uh, overgrown this place is. The people who live here are chungus and a half. Uh, actually, just, they're just very numerous. 44 out of 38 possible populations. <laughs> it's too big. No. I do not want to replace my harbor. Let's leave some pirates standing at Pirate Island. We'll wait till that army's ready. Here are our pikemen we sent over for seemingly no real reason. Um, just, just, just for a bit of sightseeing in the new world. If somehow I didn't have siege tactics unlocked. That's a bit of an oversight. Did it 7 to 1, Pete? I, yeah, I think when I tested out the formation, I was 4 to 1. 2 to 1 would look very cool. Very on theme. Um, I, I think we want chartered companies because of the infrastructure. Or maybe movable typeface. Yeah, movable typeface for that research quarter adjacency buff. Big time. Um, we've basically given up on maxing out stars at this point. We're just going to go 100% send it on the tempo run. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of tempo behind us. And by targeting the orange player with this war and having Pete already vassalized, hopefully he doesn't decide to unbend his very bent knee, um, we should be okay. How are our pirates doing down here? Just poaching. Just poaching. Poaching uh, two... Uh, what is that one called? Ebony and two incense, I believe. Not too bad, really. Arm steel? No. Stop asking for an arm steel. You're not getting it. Maybe there needs to be like a no forever option. Although I suppose that could be too definitive and you might end up with, you know, people who maybe don't quite know what they're doing or they're not quite paying attention being, like, stuck. <laughs> so that might not be a good idea for player freedoms. Om nom nom. Build a star done. Me lazily neglecting building harbours in these islands. 
on these islands, despite them being by far and away uh, incredible districts for us to build, is kind of sad to see. Also, this island not being claimed is quite sad to see too. <laughs> Any dudes nearby that want to go for a run? No. Our main island is almost entirely filled with pacifists. Um, Alright. I get one dude with a gun. And his one job will just be to take that island so that we can build, build more harbours. So that we can be better pirates. Oh my cup of coffee's got so cold! I've been talking the whole time, it's still full! I'm almost going to need to visit the microwave, probably. Ay, 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 it's been a long time since I've wasted a whole cup. Can confirm. Lukewarm. Ugh. Terrible. I'll go microwave that when I take a break. Um... Give outpost. Um. No, <laughs> this is this is Gunpowderville. Absolutely not. We could probably go one over our city cap and get an extra city down too. So I might do that uh, in two turns once I have the resource to be able to do it. Shall we keep poaching like good land pirates, or shall we just ransack it? Yeah, let's just ransack it. I've got nothing here. They're just a couple of outposts that they've left undefended by the looks. So, let's ransack them all and take this land for ourselves. <laughs> That'll teach him. Love me some cold brew. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, well, at least not lukewarm brew that used to be hot, but has now just sat here going kind of stale. <laughs> Maybe not. Although, the more that I sip from it, it kind of almost, remind, it almost reminds me of having a cho hot chocolate as a kid. I'm really mincing my words this morning. I got up quite early to watch the Rugby World Cup, and I regret it. <laughs> I regret it. <laughs> I wasn't regretting it when Uruguay was beating Italy, uh, because that was very exciting. But, as expected, the Italians... Um, I just mindlessly, I just mindlessly did that. <laughs> Terrible. What turn are we on? Uh, we're on turn 86. I don't actually want to have a peace deal with them. So I'm going to quickly reload that. I was gas banging about the World Cup and they were like, quick, while he's talking, let's just slip him this deal, like terms and conditions when you sign up to something online, right? We'll slip him this deal and just be like, yeah, da da da, sign the bottom, everything's all good. And I accidentally signed away a peace deal. So... We'll reverse that. Just checking. Yep. And then refuse. Okay, good. <laughs> My bad. Uh, you can have a non-aggression pack. Dusk, absolutely you can. Shout out to you if you're watching the VOD right now. Um, let's buff it. Let's buff it. Buff it like Warren Buffett. And then if I zoom out a bit to try and find a location for the city, it looks like maybe this one. It's got quite a bit of land around it. Yeah, but I need to stop buying harbors because I'm not going to be able to build a city if I keep buying harbors. Um, it looks like I'm just going to have to re-trigger maybe this one ransack too. Okay. You, our brave boy, you're going to go and grab that lone island. And you're going to try and do the same down here. This one, I think I mentioned it last time, but this one could be a very good spot for New Zealand in particular. Speaking of New Zealand, actually, um, we should still do a poll. Because you might surprise me, like how you surprised me by making Transcending as Pirates more popular than the Germans. That's pretty outstanding. Show cultures, a bit convoluted to get there, but we did. Who would be the next challenger? So New Zealand is the new one, and we'll just sort of lean in a little bit here. We're only about halfway through this era, but 20 science on coastal water. <laughs> I should have gave them an S tier. Um, then Sailing Club, pretty nice district, bit of influence, bit of stability. 
per adjacent coastal water, you get a lot of it too. And the polar base. 15 science per adjacent sterile terrain. Doesn't have to be polar. Uh, plus one researcher's slot, minus 10 stability. We're going to get a lot of fims out of New Zealand, I think. Uh, and they're a scientist, which is nice. Who would the other option be? Probably the Swedes. The Turks have a little bit of science in their public school, but they are agrarian. The Swedes are pretty hardcore science, and they have a boat. One science district and one boat, whereas New Zealand, of course, is quite unique in that it just has two districts. Uh, very powerful. Yeah, I, th I think that's probably the way to go. Japanese is scientific, but not at all boaty. So it'll be New Zealand versus Sweden. Singaporeans kind of tempting as well because of the way that their country is. Like, we have a lot of islands that could be Singapore, but no, 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 no. That's too, too loose of a thread. It's going to be two scientist cultures, Sweden versus New Zealand. I've got to go New Zealand. I do. I really do. Like... If it doesn't get voted, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what will happen. So, let's spam it in there. New Zealand or Sweden. It's a 1v1 situation for the final era of humankind. third option I, don't know. I think we'll just go with two yeah okay good New Zealand versus Sweden there you go that poll is up on YouTube New Zealand for the win the nature loving Aussies yeah <laughs> that's good <laughs> put some ice cubes in it and make it iced huh. I didn't even think of that you just opened up my mind to a whole new possibility that I never thought was even a real thing. I could just ice it. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Chuck it in the freezer for a bit. You're right. Certainly, Pete's absolutely right. Um, two similar games. Both historical 4X strategy games. But of course, you know, as I sit here and discuss how we change culture each era in humankind, or maybe talk about the fame stars and how it rewards journey. You'll notice the nuances and the differences between Civilization VI and humankind um, fairly quickly. Districts as well, unit combat. I think humankind's unit combat is much better, personally. And I'm so sure of it that I don't even tend to add words in to soften it. Like, it might be better. Or it could be better for many players. How I might normally describe things. <laughs> I just flat out think it's better. The written word <laughs> Don't fight me on it, please. <laughs> to a small, often wealthy... A humankind's combat system, that is, very specifically. Not without its flaws, of course. Uh, what are you? You're a diplomat. You can just stay there, that's fine. We've ignored our diplomatic corps because we've gone pretty hard on the military, but that's okay. Let's send uh, fleet number two around the corner, and if I stop poaching for a bit, we can bring these ones back and maybe find some sort of upgrade for them. I also want to get a big old capital ship, so... Five turns for a man of war, please. Bring it on. Let's, uh, let's queue up two capital ships. Delay these pirates. We don't need them. The people can go back to doing whatever jobs they were doing beforehand. Uh, we've got plenty of money. It could be worthwhile. Oh, hello. I haven't even spammed these down yet. <laughs> Zero food. Because there's no... Because <laughs> it's a lake. Of course. The ability's not looking very good. But don't worry. Everything's fine.
chuck a couple of strategic Gareth songs around the side of this uh, territory. We're going to need to build at least one so that we don't fall below 30% stability. I'm happy to ride in the middle band for a while though. That's fine. We've we've <laughs> sort of pushed through quite a lot of growth. Colonization feels like could have been pretty good. <laughs> Although the bonus not that profound really. New Zealand takes an early lead in the poll at 83%. Shame we couldn't have done the same at the Rugby World Cup. Uh, on cities founded on a foreign continent, plus 10 money and plus 10 industry, or plus 25 stability on cities founded there. Actually, that stability, kind of nice as a wee short-term buff. Is it worth 722 influence? But <laughs> 20 stability, 25 stability? Uh, you know what, maybe not. One's science. Our production feels painful at the moment. It, it, the industry, I should say. I mean, it's all right. It's actually very competitive. Um, maybe it's just because I've got so much that I want to do that it feels slow, but it actually isn't. I don't know. Let's build a university and some smart person there can figure it out for me. <laughs> Did our island boy ever make it? No. He's just standing, standing on the shoreline kind of nervous. Do I have to swim across the ocean to build a city? That is a nice bonus. Plus seven with a friendly unit bonus. Yeah, let's, um, please make sure if I forget, please remind me when we enter combat, I want to enter the naval combat manually and I want to just get a quick glimpse of those sort of damage numbers and adjacency numbers and stuff just quickly. That doesn't need to be over, over, overdone or anything. I don't think you can do anything, can you? I've brought you back here for no reason. We should have actually just left these explorer boats um, pillaging because they don't have an upgrade line available to us yet. If they have one at all, I'm not sure. Surely they do. It'd be unusual if they didn't. Uh, though they are quite unique. Right, burn that down, burn that down. Three turns will make a tiny little bit of money that we don't really care about, but we'll free up some land. And that is what we care about. Speaking of which, here's another little is land we need to take. Um, and I'm going to garrison these troops here. Could even convert them into populations in the city. Finish up our first man of war. It's an exciting day. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> okay, it's up here. Um, yeah, actually, that's a better spot for it. Alright. Frantic panning around. Neat. Setting sail. Setting sail. The dude said. Oh, of course. I'm American. <laughs> I was about to rip it out for sounding American. I was like, this guy sounds way too American, was what I was thinking to myself. Uh, with my heinous accent, I realized. Um, but it's Hawaii. And America took it. So I guess you probably do sound American. Stands to good reason. Combat strength 56. Can attack fortifications. Removes dug in status on targets. Gains combat strength when adjacent to exactly two other friendly units. No more, no less. It must be two. Punish, overlook, or enlist. Let's overlook some sins. What's the year? 1524? People are sinning all over the place. Uh, no peace for you. I am slowly losing war score, but. I don't think it's going to be an issue once we actually get there. Getting to any city that we can actually attack could be difficult. I see a couple of tiles, so we can get close-ish with our man of war. I want more. <laughs> I want them all. Queue up some instead of our districts. Sorry, districts. Probably don't need to build a food district when we have unique food ones either. Um, two more, buy them out with cash. 
attract some more population into the city. Convert these dudes into population in this city. Just to try and fill up all, all of these job slots. We have so many, it's not even funny. Um, and it's particularly interesting because we have no districts. This city of 29 million people is literally just a big skull and a couple of huts. There's nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's some little stuff's popping up in the hinterland. Some factories and stuff. But, you know, not a single district here. Terrible. I'll squeeze some science up this way in 22 turns, which is which feels like forever away. Um, it's a shame we weren't an industrial culture because we would be able to convert our massive science into industry. And I like that. Start with a modest buff. Buff some nerfs. I haven't been across the full detail um, of every specific one down to that level. Plus 11 down to plus 5. Hmm. I suppose it fits with the broader changes. Kind of balances it out. Larger battles, etc, etc, etc. Oh, we made it. And we can actually settle this island. I'm, I'm quietly very excited about this place. Queen Dusk has a special interest in this place too. A rocky field right down the bottom of the world. I mean, each to their own. Um, three pirates just standing on Pirate Island doing absolutely nothing. Yields here, pretty good. May as well build infrastructure um, or boats. One of the two. Twenty-eight science, forty-five science. Get me that in front. Bit slow, but two turns each. It's all right. Can we shift into a more productive economy? with things like furnace steel. <laughs> Surely. Anything else? The Hamlet's a nice district. Just jump back and grab this stuff. It's embarrassing that I don't have it. I think we're up to about 1500 science a turn. I saw out the corner of my eye there though, so we're doing all right. Back to poaching. These two outposts have just fallen, as you can see. No longer orange territory, now territory for me. Before they can quickly get them back, I'm going to pop down outposts exactly where theirs were, uh, which is a huge slap in the face for their integrity. A big old how do you like me now move. Although actually there are many better spots, so I'm going to shift it. Sweet! More land. <laughs> That's all I want. Take Tevin. The Galleas is no longer the absolute tank that it was. The thing that always got me about the Galleas was that I could never build it in time. I'm always building it late, and then it's redundant. Hello, Action J. Drops aren't working today. Oh. I'm sorry, that's annoying. Um, I haven't changed anything since last time in regards to those. I assume the, uh, the, the drop is still valid. Because they turn, they turn the human kind ones off, or they like expire, and don't renew all the time. Could be that. I don't think it is. I think it's probably an issue on my end. That's randomly popped up out of nowhere. Okay, here comes their fleet. And here comes, kind of, mine. These ships are very bad. 31. 
They're probably not going to be able to keep up, are they? Nah, they're just going to get sunk. And they don't have an upgrade. Oh, I need them in my borders first, though. I'm not just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to throw them out entirely. Um, though if it wants to be in my borders, it needs to be in one of my cities. Attach? <laughs> Ooh, painful for the stability, but it's okay. Get another Man of War out with our last $1,500. I don't want this capital ship to be attacked while it's driving, <laughs> driving, while it's driving around by itself. Um, I need to connect the rest of the fleet, really. Eight ships here will prove to be a bit of a challenge. We might be able to shoot at them from the land as well, though, with our actual pirates. Kind of fun. Should we make Bieber? <laughs> Should we make Justin Bieber a city? Or maybe one in the middle here? I initially thought it was going to be this. As feudal structures so sure now, prove practical. Our city cap is maxed out. But as I've talked about many times, I think you can comfortably go one ahead. I assume that is still valid in this version of humankind. If it's not, then I've been playing wrong. <laughs> My bad. 67 money, 41 science, 10 industry because we finally figured out how to use a furnace. It's good, although it's um, it's a shame, shame about the whole Machu Picchu thing. Is there actually anywhere that I can build it or am I completely locked? Knowingly, but it would be a shame. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the game was meant to warn you if you had nowhere that you could put it. Maybe it. Maybe I'm just getting confused with something else. I thought that was something that was introduced in one of the patches. Uh, or unless I suppose maybe there's an area in one of my outposts. <laughs> Surely down here. This looks kind of mountainous. Nah. That's what I get for making the world flat. I thought there might still be a mountain. Like just one. But no, flat is flat. Hey, Gavin, nice to see ya. Welcome back to Humankind. I had so much fun last stream. You can release it. Ah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pete. I forgot. I don't think I've ever done it before. This is what they introduced. Thank you again, Pete. Um, yeah, I've never used this. And this is great. Must be placed on a mountain. I don't have a mountain, so I'm going to abandon it. The influence spent to make your original claim will not be refunded. That's kind of a yikes, but fair enough, because I guess you wouldn't want people just like wander blocking to stop people. How's your week been though, Jumbo? Oh, my, my week's been... Very interesting, actually. Very interesting. Something I'm uh, looking forward to sharing very soon, and that's all that I can say, but it's been a fascinating week for me. Uh, plan something new. <laughs> Stop saying words, Jumbo. <laughs> uh, how has yours been? It's also been really hot in New Zealand. Um, we're just coming out of winter. The days are getting longer. The temperatures have been brilliant. So, uh, uh, honestly, feeling pretty good. Can't complain. Um, let's abandon that. Losing 3,400 influence in the process. It's not so bad. When you run the maths and realize it's probably only three-ish turns. Okay, so two of them. So I want four regular boats, which coincidentally happens to be these four that I have here, not these four. They're now within the city, so we can get rid of them. Boop. Nassau. I don't even know if I actually want that other man of war. Oh, what am I saying? Of course I do. Give it to me. We'll find some ships to defend it. We might just leave it in port for now, though. I need to figure out a way to get these ships and the man of war together. 
at just the right time so that I don't get attacked first by these cogs. Um, alternatively, of course, I could be a bit less lazy and um, just queue up some new boats and leave those ones there. They only take a turn. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I love it. Okay, good. What's going on down this way? Oh yeah, this is New New Zealand. <laughs> Great success. Attach that up. Get some more of these districts down before it's too late. That one will attach eventually. A little bit slow. Forgot to get the harbour with influence, so I'll have to get it with um, manpower. <laughs> Sorry, civilians. Just not your day. And then this is going to be Scienceville, Tennessee, so I might as well queue up um, the scientific upgrades because they will be useful. And just get new New Zealand sort of brewing like my cold brew down the bottom there in the polar climate, uh, getting ready for us when we move through to the next era. You can stay put. I want gunners to approach the coast just in case. <laughs> What's the easiest way for us to download your humankind persona? Um, well, because it's a drop, it is shared through Twitch drops. And that is the only way. Um, and Al is right. The best way to do it would be to probably watch Amplitude's streams. Mine should have them enabled. It was enabled yesterday. It was enabled. I'm not sure why it's not enabled today on Twitch. I honestly don't know. I didn't change anything. Um, I'll have to do some frustrating problem solving. But if you watch Amplitude streams, not only do you get my persona, but you can get all of them. So I think that's probably, I think Al's absolutely right. Nailed it 100%. That's the way to do it. Advancing the artillery. Maybe one day they'll just be in the game. Because I think that the, the plausible incentives around locking them behind drops are perhaps not really significant. They don't really have a, an impact on, say, Twitch viewership, <laughs> for example. Uh, what are we doing with these two dudes? I don't know. I'm, they kind of look a, a bit out of place. Let's just get rid of them. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's just get rid of all of our troops as this foreign army marches through. I'm paying full attention to the sea and zero attention to what's happening right next to me. So I'll, after saying how I'm going to build those ships, actually now swap over and um, get some dudes. And looks like they're running this way. Why? Why? Where are you going? I don't know. Oh well, we'll see. You can go. You served your purpose, claimed one territory, and off with you. Temps around 35 degrees Celsius. Eesh. Hiking the Grand Canyon. Oh, dude, it's on my bucket list. That's awesome. That is so awesome. And yes, Emerald, you're right. You're moving into the dark, cold times. I know. <laughs> Al wants me to name an army some dudes. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. We'll name, we'll name these guys literally some dudes. And then send some dudes off to go and fight. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Great suggestion. Hiking the Grand Canyon. How cool. Okay. <laughs> Don't you twist my words. Wondering if I've ever played the emblematic infrastructures mod. Um, by its namesake, I don't recall. No. Cultural exchange with the spiffing Brit looking very cultured. I'll counter it back at him. And for 1290 gold, he can buy it. He does not have that much money. Uh, what's going on in the Congress? Time for us to vote. We like paid wages. Shall we bribe someone who's voting for plundered wages? 
Bribe orange. I've only got 20 leverage. How much do I have with you? Three bribe actions with 22 leverage possessed against them. Exchange some of it against this empire for a temporary boost to my international clout. <laughs> okay, let's just become as clouty as we can. And then throw my weight around? Maybe? Oh! <laughs> 49% to 51. You wouldn't read about it. I demand a recount. <laughs> Stop the vote, they say. Oh, that's appalling. So close. I just needed a little bit more bribery in my day. And I have some dudes. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Al. <laughs> true. It's true. Okay, time to move the capital ships slowly but surely. Some dudes are growing nicely. Only two of them though. We really want dudes. We really want four. And our stability sucks here too. We'll ignore that. It's just because it's just such a gargantuan city. Unlike New New Zealand, which is a pretty place. Gonna get attacked straight away. No! <laughs> I just wanted to place that outpost, but I knew that would happen. Um, and now I've moved on to their stupid thing, so I can't place it there either. Okay, it's gonna be the fastest mouse in the West. Can I beat the AI's clicks? Keep following these guys with my guns. I don't want to jump in the sea to fight them though, of course, so we'll just stand by. India Golf 9 9 I'll bring these boats within range a little bit. I'm going to try and do a joined up strike. A couple of combat things going on, and I can't watch them all, so hopefully the boats are okay. Because I want to watch uh, this guy instead. <laughs> Could be upgraded, but it's too late. Uh, I've got plenty of influence, so I can probably claim this and still claim that next one next turn. Alright, okay. <laughs> Swap into the right hand. This requires full mouse dexterity. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hyped it up for nothing. Look how slow they were. I don't care. You can destroy me if you like. <laughs> I got the Dells down. <laughs> Alright, good. Sorry for hyping that up so much. Turned out it was a, a no big, not a big deal. Stop the count. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Six moves. Only four moves on these capital ships. They are very slow. From here. For us. If we were the Germans. Eh, German pirates could have had their day. One, two, three, four, five. How can you move? Five. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gonna wait there. Chopping down a forest to get 320 industry and generate 10 pollution? Why not? Let's do some deforestation. It's in the industrial era, after all. We have to live up to it somehow. Huge harbors, big resources, great fun. Um, the impacts of this are pretty minor. I'll take the extra stability, because it's worth more to me than, like, 20 gold. <laughs> Great video about the new Paradox game. Thanks, Pete. I, uh, I really enjoyed making that, and I will have a lot more to say about that. How ominous. <laughs> but exciting. Right, I think some dudes... It could be enough of them because they've got guns that they can yeah see it's a it's a close fight we want there we go okay Al, some dudes they're ready let's chase down these guys you can just stand there maybe joining up with some dudes hello space bunny nice to see you 
Uh, chopping pro produces pollution now. Question mark. Uh, wind pollution is active. Yes. Generates 10. I suppose by generating 10, it's reflecting that it, that the tr forest is no longer mitigating 10. Uh, I guess. Or maybe it's, or maybe it's the activity, maybe it also counts the activity of actually cutting down, this is dumb nerd talk. <laughs> Uh, hey, where'd your boats go? I was just gearing up for a big strike, and now they've disappeared out of our line of sight. Step back over to the cliff. Stop chopping down that tree. I need to find these ships. Can't have gone that far. What? I guess they could have ran straight this way. I'm confused about that. I don't know where they went. <laughs> the Bermuda Triangle, they just disappeared. Well, let's put the pressure on then. You want to just ditch your lands? So be it. Ransack, three turns, 160 bucks. Plunder, four copper. We'll do it while we're passing by, I guess. And I think these guys might actually end up being some kind of invasion force. So let's send them out. Your days of chopping trees are well behind you. Here's a perfectly built man of war and a couple of sloop. Two escort ships and one capital ship. Shall we test them out? Well, these guys will run away for sure, but... I'll try. Oh wow, it's gonna work. Okay, great. All right, so we have our capital ship at the front, and then we have, I'm gonna block my teammates spawn because I don't want them to spawn. And then we have our two escort ships either side. That is a terrifying line to face down. <laughs> Especially because you're not even a boat. You're actually just a human sitting in a boat. It's just gonna be a disaster for you. Might try and find uh, an actual boat to get a little bit of a closer look at the damage scores there. Humanism for humankind. Sounds good to me. Supply lines, also very good. Steam engine, also pretty good. Loads of great technologies actually now. I want them all. Slash and burn, maybe. Maybe, Tyler. Plus 10 industry per adjacent research quarter. Not bad for us, actually. Could be an Eiffel Tower kind of game. Money for territories and my sphere of influence. Am I massively influential? Yeah. So the Statue of Liberty makes us very wealthy. Um, or we could play on theme and get the Royal Palace of Papete. Plus five science per past osmosis event. No. It's a no from me. 50% uh, heal action cost on naval unit. Minus 50%. For a verft. Great, this is good. Minus 25% naval unit cost. Yeah, this is hugely on theme. Let's take this. Is it the best one in terms of yield? Eh, probably not necessarily, but pretty decent. Allows construction of new districts on adjacent tiles. Plus 20 stability. Oh, cool. And it's actually in the sea as well. Um, I want to use it more as an aggressive forward outpost. So I'm going to place it up here, and we're going to get... No one to help us work on it, apparently. Good luck. Good luck. We could be banishing our populations for money, but it's just not worth it, considering how much we have how much we're making. I'm even being a little bit ignorant towards picking up extra trade and stuff like that. I say as I spend $600 on a whole lot of iron I'm never going to use. <laughs> how much do we have? 35. Good. 
All right, let's sail for Bibli Boss then. If they're gonna run and hide, um, we're gonna teach them a lesson. Some dudes chasing down this army. Will it run into one of my navies? No, because we don't have any except for over in the new world. Um, I'll queue up these places. Buy a bank. Get them working on that ver that that. <laughs> However it is. Um, it's a very expensive saltpeter mine. But I'll allow it. Our infrastructure in this city is so bad. Oh my god. That's terrible. Don't look at Hattusa. It's not exactly the crowning jewel of the empire, if you know what I mean. Um, even you're sort of on the bit of a struggle bus in, here in the capital as well. Ah. Oh. Not too bad. I'm going to upgrade from one of these from Pirate Skull so that we can get a look at what the new one looks like. Pirate Skull is gone and kind of tropical, colonial, very tropico vibes actually out of this setting right here. <laughs> uh, city has emerged in its place. Okay. I never hear anything good about this game. Are people just being over dramatic? Um, I mean, there are, there are certainly valid criticisms, but hey, finally, nice to see a local Silverhawk too. I just saw your chat. Um, you know, there, there are definitely issues. But I think on balance, the community probably is a little bit too harsh on humankind. Humankind had a rough launch, um, not balanced, kind of broken a bit. You know, the game was crashing. I had huge fun with it at launch, don't get me wrong. But it was a difficult time. And I think that there's probably a bit of historical um, anguish and resentment around that as well. Um, I think humankind's great fun. People will hate me for it, but I don't know why. You don't have to agree. Um, all right. What did you vote? 76%. Over three quarters voted for me to play as New Zealand. 24% for Sweden. Um, thank you for not making this a difficult decision. Obviously, we're not playing as the Australians. Um, and allowing me to just choose New Zealand. Way before the coup did have a whole medical university and free healthcare after all. Is that right? Hmm. The more you know. Okay, New Zealand, as we talked about earlier, a bit of extra science on our coastal water and a sailing club to boot, and then this polar base. Let's see, um let's see how we go. Me dressed up in in a, some fantastic gear. They did a Good job with the theming, the soundtrack, the districts. One empire depends on this relay. It's it's them, so you know, not a big deal. Uh, let's sail off. We've done enough pirating and plundering, I think. Whoa, this is a big trade port, though. <laughs> Maybe we leave one ship behind. And it can just sit there and plunder. Let's see how much money it's worth. Something like 80 goods being transited through that port at the moment. Um, with New Zealand, you've reached the contemporary era. Humanism unlocked. We're going to be naturally pretty freaking far behind on our science. Uh, look at all this tree. Did someone say beeline fusion reactor? <laughs> so easy because there's nothing before it so um we can just skip the entire industrial tree see things like this potentially um could could annoy people i kind of just laugh it off but each to their own um the, <laughs> it's a very rare option here where it's this line for whatever reason doesn't connect to the ones before it um so we're gonna get uranium we're gonna get uh nuclear submarines and and then the fusion reactor now we won't be able to get a lot of the i love that artwork multi-role fighter 
I want to play a game where we explore all of this stuff properly, so I need to play a slower game speed maybe next time. Um, I won't get a lot of this fun stuff though, because this is rocket science. This ain't. Destroyers, also a very cool ship. And battleships for the capital. Strategic bombers, monoplanes, fighters versus bombers. Very cool distinctions. See, I want to play with the planes more too. Usually beeline fighter jets. I think you said. For re re redacting that message. Um, would Aerith work better if you didn't swap named countries but just picked the aspects themselves? Like a few ocean buffs and a science thing. Fusion reactors before electricity. It's the New Zealand way, of course. Uh, ironically. Uh, not. Um, axioms? I've thought about that a lot too. Yeah. What if instead of changing a whole culture and a whole name, it instead you just sort of got to choose a district? Obviously we'll never know if people would have preferred that more or not. I think it would be closer to Civ. And if something is closer to Civ, on the one hand, it'll make some people angry because they're like, it copied Civ. But on the other hand, it'll make people happy because they like Civ. <laughs> it's a strange balance. Um, and I feel like doing it that way would bring it a little bit closer to Civ in that you have a, a very fixed leader. Although, of course, in this game, I have a fixed leader too. I just changed my clothes. But, um, but the changing of the name annoys uh, some people too, I think, maybe. They've changed this a little bit too now, though, because rulers have sort of fixed titles that are much more obvious and transparent. But yeah, that would be an interesting game. Okay, some dudes made it. Let's fight. Oh, come on. <laughs> We've been trading for years for this moment. Give me a break. Ah, uh, materials procurement, you're a little bit light. A religion is probably a good one for us. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That one's garbage. Knowledge authorities will be great. Plus one science per number of trade route and plus 10% science on cities. Let's go foreign innovations. It'll hurt our stability a bit though. Is it floundering? It's uh, floundering a little bit, yeah. Oh, and we have collective minds, so we can convert a whole lot of our industry into science. I don't really have a city where I'm happy to do that, except for maybe Pirate Island. Oh, and we need to get our uniques down too. Right, so, our sailing clubs. Take a look at this, everybody. The power of New Zealand. 180 science out of this sailing club. Made a bit of a word salad, fair enough. My life is word salad with a side of mayonnaise. Uh, 30 people on Twitch and about 60 people on YouTube puts us at nearly 100 viewers. Viewership's kind of picked up over time, which is awesome. Thank you for tuning in. 61 likes on YouTube as well. And uh, picked up a couple of new um, Twitch subscribers along the way too, which is cool. Look at that beautiful science. Feast joys. <laughs> oh, I have to bowl down this district to build it, but I don't care. That is glorious. Is there more where that came from? You bit your backside. We've got three. Although struggling a little bit to get the extra science out of all of them, but the stability, actually the stability is going to be a saving grace in of itself because we have these huge cities, um, particularly in the new world. Yup, 120 science, 60 there. Cheeky hundo up this way. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, no, I'll take the 60. Another 60, thank you. Thanks for coming. I'm not going to be one there because that's bad. Ooh, that's a Wampa. <laughs> this city's tiny and this one's ridiculously big. That's even more of a Wampa. I think that's our best one yet, actually. It's hard to tell because there's so, <laughs> so much. Have I done it over here yet? Oh my god. 200. There it is. The new king. Want to get it close to ocean? There's one that's nice and close to ocean. 140? 
Not too bad. 163, very specific. 80 science. Cheeky 40 down there. Maybe another 160 while we're at it. Whew. And that's just one of their districts. Now, of course, the other one does rely on sterile terrain. Which is why we have New New Zealand, maybe. Oh my god. This place is juicy. Humankind fans, sit back. <laughs> 143 science from a standard harbour. Woof. Woof. <laughs> it's that plus 20 science. What have we, what have we rocketed up to? 6,042. Okay, we can do better. Looking for another 200 plus if I can take it, if I can get it, but it doesn't look like I can. Settle for the 100s. 120 about average. Previous harbors preventing me from getting big yields. I think you're right. Yeah. Too many. There's too much junk, basically. Cra sort of crowding out this space. Um, although I think we did get one 240. And a couple of 200s. Hoped for a bit more. Still pretty juicy. Pretty happy. 44 science out of this as well. New New Zealand needs some science districts. If it's really going to live up to itself. The terrain's alright for them. It's not exceptional, but it's okay. These guys have burnt this down and had the... F really had the last laugh against me there. <laughs> I want something with a lot of movement. Let's get a knight. Oh, two turns. Forget about it. Let's get one of these guys. Um, and I'll take this, and that way we'll be able to hook all of this into New Zealand, because unfortunately, these guys have taken this back, which I probably will need to take back from them again, really. Uh, let's attach this and take a look at our second exciting district. This is the Polar Base, plus 15 science, for adjacent sterile terrain. Doesn't quite have it, really, at the same um, level as our other one. But 50 science, 170, 140 over here. Yeah, that'll do, I suppose. <laughs> Just while we get our nukes online. Or not, as it were. Alright, bam. Turn 100. The game ends... It would end in 50 turns. Unlocking all the remaining... Unlock all the remaining era stars to trigger the end of the game. Or we could probably meet um, one of the other conditions. <laughs> Whether I actually get those is another question. I feel like I've avoided these ships for a few turns, but maybe there's just been so much going on building those districts. That's not true. Let's sail in anyway to Bibli Boss. Trap these dudes with some dudes. Really trap them in there. Surround the coastline. Oh, we should have given them a little bit of space to spawn though. Let's step back a bit and just not attack so that they hopefully move. They didn't move. Fine. Fire at will. Who's will? No, nah, they're not going to spawn. Wow. I mean, that's smart. I give them that. That's smart. We'll just have to keep chasing them around. <laughs> Haphazardly, sort of... <laughs> Research Institute unlocked. Polar base is more about the influence than the science. That is true. Oh. Hello, juicy uranium deposit. <laughs> that was a lucky placement. One and two. Where did New Zealand's, um... Dude go? I thought I trained a dude. How did I, um... Must have got distracted. Alright, anyway, there's a dude. 
He needs to go there. Move your backside. And they're sort of dragging their heels, but the fleet is slowly making its way around. Frustrating. Independent peoples. <laughs> Haven't really had much of a chance to pay attention to them this game, have we? <laughs> Not exactly. Wish that recruiting units didn't rely on production. Instead, there'd be an army slot, like how you move over population to different jobs. Units cost army instead of production. The newest. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. What is the game that's done that most recently? Um, Age of Wonders 4. I like the way how you train units simultaneously to building build to constructing buildings in Age of Wonders 4. Yeah. That that could be an interesting approach. I agree. Can we even lay eyes on Bibli Boss? Uh well not there because they didn't put a district there. <laughs> hey caramba. Okay. Oh, look, the boats are back. Oh, it's terrible timing. I've just sailed around the world. Um, what have we got? We've got two capital ships coming up on them. That's probably not a good idea. I'm going to reroute back around Nassau. And get... Oh, my goodness, look at all of these manufacturers. <laughs> I've never seen so many in one city. That's ridiculous. Uh, so these are like these sort of ultimate upgrades. If you possess enough of a uh, of a resource, then you can claim basically an, an extra bonus from it. And of course, a little bit of stability and influence, which is going to help the city, which was struggling for years with stability. Uh, to finally make a bit of ground. So I'm going to buy them. I'm going to trade population for them. Our stability is now up to 100%. Our economy is growing. The city is shrinking, but don't, don't pay close attention to that. It's fine. And honestly, I need to bring these, um, our unique districts to the start. At least a couple. Quarantine or wait? Let's wait. I should probably also get out of the ocean. Burn this down while I'm here. Uh, let's do a bit of piracy. The Buccaneers, after all. So it's like perfectly on brand. Uh, quite a lot of interrupted trade routes you can see up the top here. I love this UI. I wish there was a way to like make it a bit bigger or something maybe. Because it looks so nice. I guess I don't need to make it bigger just because it looks nice though. Um, all right. Bring the boats back out of that cove. Terrible piloting. <laughs> Driving, piloting. Will I ever get it right? Probably not. Probably not. Rome Total War. Ah, oh, there's a throwback. There's a throwback. Rome Total War was my first strat my first proper strategy game that I got into. Me and this mate of mine, who was a really annoying dude. No offense to him. Um, and I know, stones and glass houses. <laughs> we used to play Rome Total War on this big box CRT monitor in, in his house after school. Just probably didn't know what we were doing. Probably cheating the whole time. I can't remember, really. <laughs> I can't remember, but it would have been terrible. Rerouting the capital ships was a mistake. We didn't really need to. But it'll do. Those four dudes. And if we bring these ones back around here. We can at least scare off that boat. These capital ships roll up. Hello, barbarian. <laughs> Some dude on his camel. Poor guy. You not expect to be facing capital ships today. Right. 
get over there and do some good old New Zealand colonization. Hey, thanks, Bibi Connor. Thanks for tuning in. Yar har fiddly d. <laughs> Love it. Who was that? T N E C E N I W. Love it. I'm not. I don't know how to say that though. Um, is it time for a new wonder? Ooh. Plus five science per number of trade routes on city. Plus five percent science per alliance. And it's new. I think we have to take it. The Maunakia Observatory. Cool. Give it to me. Uh, where does it want to go? Probably in the huge place, I guess. Although, actually... Uh, Asura is still our best one. But I could future... Oh. Of course, it needs a mountain. Shit! Oh, oh no! What a waste! What a waste. I don't think we will have picked one up. I'm not even sure if one exists. This is a wonder. Hey, this is a wonder. Charge! I might just take this territory off them. They can't do anything with those boats. Gee, they've got a lot of them though. Far oh, yeah. out. They came out of nowhere. Luckily though, so do we. Oh, this wonder is complete too. Looks very cool. I like those little um, cranes. And we'll keep defending our coastline so that we don't end up with with this ring around the rosy situation like we've got going on here with some dudes. Oh, the AI is fighting itself as well. Vassalization's taking place. Territory declared neutral. Good to see some action. Force the capital ships from behind. They fled. Okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> There's not a single mountain <laughs> except for wonders. Sad. Sad. I'm still slightly optimistic that one day I'll be panning around the map looking for a place and there'll be a mountain. And I'll be like, oh, how did I miss this the whole time? Sadly, not meant to be. Uh, what's going on at the Congress? Plus 100% war score. Nice. Uh, and then on this vote, we don't really care about independent peoples. I'll vote for this one because Orange is voting for the other one, I suppose. We don't have a lot of sway, though, either. At war with my ally, allied with my enemy, Spiffing Brett. Right. Me and Spiff had taken down the world. <laughs> I did I did this to myself, I know. It's entirely self-inflicted. <laughs> and I deserve to suffer the consequences of never being able to build this observatory. the capital ships. They've unfortunately only got one guiding rail with them, but I don't think it matters. 64 plus 5 for being in the line of sight, plus 2 from the friendly unit. Just decimate these cogs. <laughs> nice. We'll sail this one up here just to shield. It's more of a screening ship in many ways. Where are you running to? And why? <laughs> Boom. Boom. Satisfying. 
How's the battle still? Oh! Hello. What are you doing over here? Pew, pew, pew. Ships retaliate now, of course. This is Scourge on Pirate Island. Sounds like a lie to me. It's, uh... <laughs> Big Pirate definitely needs to work on its marketing, though. Mountain? No. The land of the long, white, flat cloud. I was trying to get them through into there, but it just didn't work. Just scare them off, make them lose some war score. Brilliant. Now, how are my ransackers doing? One turn away. Cool. So I can steal that, and then I'll take this territory from them, because it's a really cool one. Right in the middle of their empire. What an insult. Might be able to snake down there and take out these guys. Kind of just moving back and forth along their coastline, bullying them at this point though, aren't we? <laughs> Nasty. Nuke! Clear weapons have been unlocked. Let's uh, proliferate that. Neat. Do we have somewhere to test that isn't filled with <laughs> all of these districts? I hope so. Connecting uranium uh, before we've even got most other energy sources is a bit of a lull, but kind of fun. 162 science off that standard harbour. 180 off this standard harbour. Brilliant. Get into New Zealand. Hostile army. Oh. <laughs> I sent an extra unit over because I didn't see that one. Nice. Um, we don't have a fleet down here. Do I want to make one? Not really. I want 146 science out of this inventor's workshop, actually. That's what I want. Nuclear plant or a tax office. <laughs> Nuclear plant or a grain silo. <laughs> ah, the trade-offs. Massive, um, massive, 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 massive stability gains here. Let's test a nuclear weapon, right? Hear me out. Right next to this wonder. Great success. <laughs> Maybe not quite living up to the idea of New Zealand in this aspect. Just not quite, eh? <laughs> you can renounce a wonder. Yep. Which, of course, I will need to do. Like this. Abandon. You unfortunately don't get your 5,250 influence back, though. Zero re no refunds. I'm like, oh come on, I bought it back within seven days. I hadn't even opened it. No refunds. Oh, right. <laughs> this open hole in the middle of their empire. Yoink. Leave the capital ships at home. Oh no, we won't. Look at them all. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to auto this. This is too many. So two of them pursued that boat, and then the rest of them just kind of meandered around up there. A bit weird. Oh my, I guess my gunners maybe are jumping in too. Military star. Fantastic. Oh, I wish these guys would go away. <laughs> what outpost do they want? I can give them something that I don't especially care about. Have that one, it's fine. Oh, I should have given them that one because it's tiny. Oh well. I don't think we'll ever build on that land. 
Right, so that'll get them out of my hair. No. Is it that army? It's not in my borders, but maybe it is that army. Kind of weird. Oh, and of course, we could peacefully take over um, these independent peoples as well. I don't know about that. <laughs> not really on thing with everything else that we've done. I need aluminium to get my nuclear submarines. So I'll just get a little bit of a navy for down the line in New Zealand. 20,000. Oh my god, no. Let's assault instead. Um, are you two completely useless now? I.e. has the world been fully colonized? No. So we're going to send them on a 14 turn journey up here by that auto fight <laughs> will they make it in time i don't know king jumbo pixel has become death destroyer of worlds by having completed the world's first nuclear test nuclear tests unlock and improve devastating new units which can be built in cities with a missile silo district very good Get on top of a bit more of the science. More of these districts. Probably they're probably better than the generic ones, actually. Any other oh yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure. Yike. 153 science just sitting there. Being ignored. There we go. Brutal fight at sea. <laughs> easily handled, easily won. I think we try and march on Bibli Boss. We've cleared them out of the oceans for the most part. Hello. Get the get some dudes here to defend that coast. There's six boats down there are probably a non-issue. What do we need here? Aluminium. Okay. That's going to be, I fear, quite a technological jump. We're about to get the fusion reactor, though. So that will give us plus 50% industry on cities or outposts. Our industry isn't very good. So that's quite a considerable buff. What, ne what one do I want next? Do you want to get the endgame exosuit buff? I quite like exosuit um influence money not so much plus 50 percent money on all cities though actually that's kind of juicy <laughs> to queue that up though it's going to take such an enormous amount of time um and we're probably going to have to sweep back through this crap right get the steam engine once we've got our fusion reactor online for example Propellers as well. Electricity. A lot of technology queued up. Gonna get your nerds ready. But with like 110 science coming down. Saved a spot for a hamlet, which was nice there too, for some extra jobs. What did I just try and build there? Cannot be done on this territory. Oh, am I in the wrong city? Yes. <laughs> Whoops. Chuck that to the front. I'm trying to build up even more science capacity, even though we're close to the end of the game. Conquered empires? Sounds like a bit of me. But I'll ignore that for the time being. I don't really need the benefit. Fusion reactor unlocked, 1724. Not bad. Uh, and we have enough for a wonder as well. Plus 15 money for adjacent. Mm, mm. Get the Congress to up my sway. Big Bon is pretty great actually now, and it's changed quite a bit too. Maybe that's what I want. Plus three science per adjacent market quarter. Science per adjacent admin center, main center, and plus 10% science on the capital. Okay. I'll take Big Ben as a, uh, an okay replacement.
and maybe we build it in New Zealand. Oh. Capital. All down here? Nah, let's do the capital. It does still have more science. And it will get 10% more after this. <laughs> Our cities are so sparse. They're just sort of a collection of wonders. And that's about it. Um, I guess the other thing to think about actually would be look for our commercial hub, um, which we can do very easily by, where's that filter for the colors? There it is. So I'm looking for the gold outlined ones. There's a few up there. That city's really crappy though. It might just be worth building a new development for it. Unless it goes there, actually. There's a few market quarters around it already. It's only plus three science. And it actually gets plus eight from being next to an admin center. Through 15. Yeah, nah, that's, that's not worth fussing over. That's too much palaver. Let's just smash it down. Um, maybe right next, right next door. Boom. And then we can get a little bit of a a neat little sort of financial hub spreading out from the capital in and around it. It'll be fun. I'm not even going to look at how much I'm losing off this. 221, I looked. That's only 17. That's only 17. It's only 12. But the Inventor's Workshop, yeah, 220 science. Please finish that. They want peace. I refuse. One turn is like years. It is like years, you're right. So maybe, <laughs> maybe the slowness is fair enough. What I wanna know is if I get my ships close enough to the city they can at least see it will they be useful only four land units coming over it's a bit of a bit of a sparse fight we'll keep these three around to patrol this war-torn area i was trying to set my boat up on land that's not going to happen stay exactly where you are please and thank you. Whoa. Who did you just become? The Venetians. Mm. They're going to get a bit of leverage off me as I land now because they've used their diplomatic ability on this territory. So, instead of running from it, I think I'm just going to push hard and fast at it. Send this uh, poorly balanced army of two capital ships and one escort to tidy up some of that stuff. Help us build Big Ben. You won't regret it. Once you get your workshop done. And I'll just buy that arrow from right because I'm Scrooge McDuck. Fields of plenty. Plus one farmer's slot for farmers. Yeah, I mean, that's probably okay-ish. Though it will push us quite far to the left there. Um, at this point in the game, though, with all of our influence and stability that New Zealand, shout out to New Zealand, uh, has awarded us, we can probably afford to push right out to the extremes. So I'm going to get plus one farmer's slot on city uh, per farmer's quarter. You might remember, actually, that this is probably much better than, than what I'm saying because we were so out of jobs. This place is still out of farmer's jobs despite getting those extra ones uh, at 50 population. <laughs> Only 11 jobs. <laughs> a good stream. Oh, thanks. Thanks for tuning in the first time in chat uh, over, on, um, over on Twitch there too. I appreciate it.
We understand how to trade money now. Always fun. Let's refuse that peace deal, which is going to keep flying at us thick and fast. Cheeky 140 science up there. Maybe another city here. Once we get... Oh, maybe we do have the last one. Oh. I spy with my little eye something beginning with aluminum. There. I want it. It's the resolve into success. I was mad with that unit because it blocked my movement this turn. How dare you. The ship sail in. Put that one there. That one there. These guys in formation like this. How about it? Two capital ships at the back, and then our dudes at the front. Pretty cool. Far! Oh, uh, sir, we can't see it. <sighs> Far now! Sunken one. Are these civilian units? Oh, they are. I wouldn't have bothered with the big setup if I'd realized. <laughs> Always nice to sink some civilies. Isn't it aluminium? I thought it was aluminium. Aluminium? Aluminium? I say aluminium. I don't even know anymore. I've taken the piss out of it so many times I can't remember how I actually say it. It is nice to see some later stuff, isn't it, Pete? I agree. And one of the unintended benefits of playing this Stuff the Fame style is that we've actually been able to do it. Has my day been going? Hey, Master. Pretty good, actually. I mean, I'm playing Humankind, so can't complain. Pretty nice weather. A couple of coffees for me. It's only 9 a.m. Busy day ahead, but so far, so good. Thank you for asking. I poached a lot today. I've poached more than I've ever poached today. Eggs. Wildlife. You name it. Uh, but seriously, yeah, we've, we've, we've done a bit of poaching. It's 11.15 here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I live in New Zealand. Um... And I try and stream at a time that suits European and American viewers, because that's where almost all of my viewers are from. Um, America and then Western Europe. So it does require some tricky time zone starts at my end. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, and we're moving toward the bad time zone again soon too, I think. I think it's daylight savings in New Zealand this weekend. So our clocks go four. Yes. Great. <laughs> What's going on here? I think you're stuck in an awkward wants to reinforce but kind of doesn't want to reinforce phase. Let's flick it onto auto because clearly we've turned up to Bibli Boss with our massively powerful ships and pirate buccaneer gunners and they just don't stand a chance. Thank you for Bibli Boss. Woof. Let me send you a gift. Here's a dollar. If every player in the game sent them a dollar, they'd be wealthy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm actually just taking the mick out of them. Uh, right. Ura uranium mines, Big Ben. This place, I think, is missing a lot of infrastructure, so I'm kind of tentatively looking down at it. Oh, 118 gone. I'm 
and maybe just queue that stuff up and forget. Thanks, Atusa. Um, I haven't paid attention to New New Zealand in a while. Or these guys. We should have really established contact with them a long time ago. Just in case I didn't want to fight them. Another Polar base. Sick. Uh, actually, it's just that one. Again, because these guys. Oh, okay. It's time to get some... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put a garrison there. Uh, and then we need to queue up. What, what have we got? What are we good? What are we good? Where's my power? <gasps> Dragoons? Yeah? Alright. Get some goons. The goon squad. Uh, but of course put this first. I said, but of course. But of course. <laughs> I'm not sure why that wouldn't that wouldn't go. Maybe it did, but it um just didn't refresh the number of turns it would take. Bam. So we get the garrison, we spawn the dragoons, we take out these guys, then we take out these guys, and everything comes up Millhouse, hopefully. Uh, a rogue fleet of Queen Moana of the Venetians just kind of cruising. Yeah, on higher difficulties, the AI would have smashed me this game. On humankind difficulty, I would have got smashed. Definitely. I don't know about the one in between us and that, though. That that would have been interesting. Um, also important to note, I've played quite differently this time. By not hanging around in the eras. I'd almost always hang around in the eras for the extra fame. But because of the start that we had, because of how lucky and aggressive and spawning right next to two other people... Um, it worked. It just worked. So, yeah. Uh, but broadly, I agree. The AI would keep up much better on a higher difficulty. I wonder what it would be like on a lower difficulty. Like, what's, what's town like? Or whatever the very first one is. Anyone in chat played the lowest difficulty when you don't need to? Like, because of course there'll be people who play it because the game's too hard. For them, or they're not experienced enough with it, and that's fine. But any Chad out there playing it just for fun? Looks like you like to plan way ahead. Um, interesting take. I'll 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 accept that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll accept that happily. Kia ora, my friend. Uh, looks like resources are so much more accessible with the new patch. They are. They've changed a lot. They have quantities now. Um, there's a whole new uh, trade overlay here, which is very useful, um, really easy to use. The resource quantities, the resource effects, of course, all sort of balance out now too. Uh, what have I missed? Oh, the requirement of certain resources to produce their products efficiently as well. That's a change. Pretty cool stuff. It was a great update to resources and trade. And boats, actually. Just played a game on Hamlet for fun. Got way too powerful. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Uh, I'm playing Humankind. AI was beating me for a while and has been very good at handling my units. Yeah, the unit handling thing actually probably does deserve me to stress a bit more. The AI is very good at those high levels. Of not just handling your units, but at least in my experience, actually being a real threat. Like a... Not not even just a partial threat. Like, actually, oh man, I might lose. <laughs> Which is, you know, not ideal. Uh, almost as not ideal as... What just happened there? So we'll set that as the spawn. And now start pumping out the dragoons. They've ran to fight one dragoon immediately. That, see, that's clever. Like, that's good AI. It should do that, probably. However... I'm in a garrison, and I've got a gun. And you've got two horses. So, maybe don't be too quick to credit him just yet. <laughs> you gonna play Dune again after the full release? Um, yeah, I, I got an email, like a couple of emails from the team behind it. And they were like, hey, we'd love to do a thing with you. Because, because you like the Dune game. And I was like, cool, let's do it. And then I just never heard back. Um, so, 
twice actually so maybe if if that doesn't come through probably not at this point um if it does yes probably although i can't say too much but i think we're going to be in for a pretty busy next f next sort of few months the last quarter of the year is usually the big one of course for gaming loads of games come out it's christmas it's the holidays whatever you do um we'll be busy so i won't commit completely to doing spice wars Yeah, this was actually a big mistake by them. <laughs> My Dragoon is too powerful and basically just cheating by hiding in this fort. <laughs> firing at people as they come running. No. One shot every time. How do you like me now? I think we'll take that city off them with these dragoons in that case because that was the, the dragoon is so much stronger than these barbarians empire that's the one i was looking for pete empire is my favorite difficulty i think the ai personas scarce resources number of competitors pete's right um if you add strong ai personas i reckon in some games not all but in some games um you can actually whoa you can just <laughs> it's just it, it's it's stupid You've got like plus 20 industry on all of their all of their industrial quarters right from the start or something like that maybe it doesn't scale quite as well as difficulty though perhaps just thinking out loud here the diff the ai personas make the early game harder but their effect later on is less important. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do I want more wonders that make me wealthy? Not really, actually. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Do we still have work to do? Yes. Do we need more science? Always. Oh, look, New Zealand Rebels, they've got the fern. Ah, how good. Courage. Now, let me put you down. Pretty brutal successful <laughs> what's wrong with the boss oh we need to end this war should we just force it we can't yet they've still got some war support somehow okay we'll just let that tick away that's all good dragoon Twelve science is nowhere near as um, impressive as some of the other infrastructure we were getting was. It's all pretty garbage, actually. But I've got nowhere to build districts in Pirate Island, so it either has to build units or infrastructure, and it might as well get some infrastructure. Wow, you've got two vassals. Liege of two empires, and I just smashed you. Should we take another city? <laughs> Am I getting a bit ahead of myself? Maybe. But we could. Especially if the ships that were moving around the coast can get around and help us out, because they played a huge role last time in providing a lot of damage and support. Laser eyes, Kiwi symbol, win. <laughs> we should have voted for it for our flag, game. Eh? Missed opportunity to have a real laugh. Good attention to detail. I agree. It is good attention to detail. Because couldn't maintain air superiority. Now he's a spider block my uranium access. 
which is needed for the multi-role fighter. That's cool. That's a level of detail that's admirable, I reckon. Get in the water. Oh, it's the freaking beehive as well. Oh, they've only gone and done it. They've only gone and smashed it out of the park. Uh, that's our, um, if you're unfamiliar, the beehive. There's this round building in the middle. It's our parliament. In Wellington. I've been in there, and there, and there, and there, and even right up to the cabinet table. Not, not trying to subtle brag or anything. But I've swiveled on one of those chairs before. <laughs> They're very big. I guess you gotta make allowances. Whoa, they're smelling my units. Look at them all. <laughs> AI stepping right up to this challenge. I don't want to fight them in the sea. Um, weirdly, because our fleet's not down here. They're demanding that... Spiff is demanding that he has freedom. I will have freedom! <laughs> Go you. Oh, I wish I'd have breath. Oh, well. Um, so the fleet hasn't really arrived. But actually, it's right up against the city. So hopefully, with a little bit of luck. With a little bit of rusties and an insane amount of luck. Um, you two could look like me. And then hopefully we'll win this fight. The deployment's probably okay. Probably should have deployed up there, actually. That's a much better spot than where I'm sitting right now. I just wanted to be able to get shots off. Pew pew! We'll try and go for the low ground, or people who are lower than us. This, um, what is this? Great Swordsman. Right. Um, next round I'll bring in the boats. Forgot to do it last time. There is no path through because of this galley ass. 55 strength too. Oh shoot, I wasn't expecting to run into that. Not gonna lie. Still managed to deal majority damage, but because it's so tight, I can't get a second ship around. Hmm. A little bit problematic. Right, I want these gunners to clear the way for this warrior. They failed to do that. <laughs> oh man, no one could do it. Oh, that was a bit of a bloodbath. Anyone, everyone see that? I hope, I hope you did. <laughs> I was mesmerized. Just units running out of the fog into my gunfire. Do we want to educate the people? 25 science for $5,000. Terrible. Terrible exchange. At least if I'm building districts, we're, um, we're getting something in the long run. The AI did it to you. That's funny. And quite clever. Using the, um, the new, the, the new ish espionage systems. To not just, of course, be a pirate like we have been and take resources, but also, as you rightly point out, use the spy to, um, to disrupt your uranium. And uranium's such a painful one to have disrupted as well. I can remember old streams where my uranium supply was interrupted. And it's like, oh man, I worked for so long to get this together. It's such a power play. Speaking of power plays, we're going to get a science district built over the next 10 turns 
in and around this area. And it's going to be great. But first, here's 318 science. And then 11 from a university. <laughs> okay. How are we doing on the tech tree? We're about to understand electricity. Okay, good. Only a couple of turns off the big stuff. Just water that. Thank you. Lightning in a bottle. This new power will impact every aspect of society, from public safety to industrial production. Chain. Neat. Congrats, you discovered electricity, and you may now end your war. So I'll force them to become a vassal, and they'll give me everything. Look at all that war score. Woof. Remaining war score will be converted into money. I don't often see a big amount of money coming out of that. Thank you for your surrender. Unconditional. I will not grant you freedom. And so now I've picked up almost everyone in the game because Orange already had these two. Oh wait, but Spiff's trying to get, so Spiff's now trying to get freedom from me. Oh, so who are you? <laughs> no, okay. Um, plus one science for researcher, for trade. Of course we want trade, who doesn't? Big trader. Get up. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. It's the result because we know that our guns are really good. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're a bit short on coal, but we can upgrade into the ironclad, and our sloops become steam frigates. Very cool. Who wants some? <laughs> I'm just ready. Chomping at the bat. Yeah, that's pretty important. Oh, should have got that a little while ago. Um, could lean into the industry a bit more too. That sawmill in particular is quite good. Food struggling. Queue up that infrastructure as well. One of the empires is close to victory. Who and how? And is it me? Is it my military victory that it's referring to? I'm certainly not close to getting all stars. I doubt that I'd be at the end of the tech tree. <laughs> Certainly not at the end of the tech tree. I've, I'm not sure that I've ever won a game by making everyone my vassal, Pete. At least I don't remember it. Maybe I should do it. Is there a trophy for it? There are only a couple of trophies in Humankind that I don't have. I wonder if there is. I can check actually, because I've got the trophies right here. I don't have... Possess a city that spans 30 territories. I'm one short. I, I got to 29. I don't have win a game with a single city. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I did a one city challenge. But maybe I changed it or something. Um, achieve 18 Ace the Era Stars in a single game. I've only achieved 16. Win a game against 9 AI at Humankind difficulty on the largest map. I don't think I've played against 9 AI on a large map. It's probably 8. Adopt three different state religions. That's not it. Hire 20 armies. I never hire armies. And sign an alliance with a player who was once your liege. That's the one that I was thinking of. So there isn't actually. Bummer. But yeah, you're right. It will end the game. Much like just wiping out every other empire. Have we done that before? We must have. Well, actually, I don't even know. I don't know. Okay. All right mission if I choose to accept it is who do we need to take out just the Swiss oh they're a huge trading partner of ours Dusk has provided a lot to our economy 
but all good things must come to an end. I'll at least position the fleet. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's meant to be. Uh, first thing we're going to need... Oh, wait. Surely I have open borders with my vessel. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Let, just let me through. But it was this. It was their territory, the black territory. So, capital down there. Uh, an island city that just is begging to be bombarded with a whole load of artillery fire or something. Upgrade almost all of these. This navy is now a freaking powerhouse. Let's use them to, to our advantage. We'll run these units back to Nassau. Speaking of Nassau, it could probably be growing, grabbing this stuff. But apparently there's a hostile army. Where? I'm right here. I don't know. Not be done in the presence of a hostile army. Well, there's a hostile army down here too? Maybe ah. Oh, because it's city borders border wide, I guess. So they're actually burning down my harbour too. For God. I'll send a capital ship over to deal with them. <laughs> Just send a man of war, they'll be fine. Nukes going from 1 to 2 to 3 radius is a bit much. And satellites should be launchable from the shuttle launch pad. I, I probably agree with both of those things. Definitely that second one. This guy's pretty weak. I wonder if these two can take that city. Just wait there for a bit. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh, we're doing alright for food. Doing alright for basically everything actually now in this city. Make a bit more money maybe. Didn't really focus too much on that. If I were going down the stars route, <laughs> it would be a little bit of a problem. 1780. We figured out how to fly. Not bad. That's okay. All right, let's fight. Let's fight them. <laughs> let's just do it. I'm. So, oh, firstly though, just take quick stock. We're making eighteen hundred bucks a turn. How reliant really was I on this one trade partner, Dusk? Let's see. Surprise! It's war. And here's my trademark. Sassy one dollar. It's all yours. Take it. No, please take it. Please. You need it. That's kind of what I'm saying. Um, oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> Fine with me. Uh, still plenty. Well, still plenty of wealth going around. Trade was inefficient and lousy. That hunter killer capital ship. Here's another one. Off you go. Hey, these guys made it up here. Oh, that's so good. Discover 100% of the world. That is a pretty cool thing, actually, to pick up in this playthrough, given the oceanic explorers kind of theme that we've got going on. Does that mean I voted against myself? Sorry, I didn't catch your question in the context of what I was saying. And now I've forgotten. Hey! Yeah, easy dub. Aerial warfare. Cool, 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 cool. Anybody here want a cheeky upgrade? Go on. You know you want to. Become an ironclad. Pete, 
is demanding freedom. The Māori. Hey, you picked up the Māori. That's cool. No. <laughs> oh, Pete. Why? We had such a good thing going. I'm so disappointed. You leave me with no choice. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now we're going to have to try and sort of scramble an army together. Um, you know what? I don't think it's going to be too hard. Can we just roll out some stupidly powerful technology? Not with that oil. Mama. Oh well, I'll get some of these dudes. Hey, where, is, where did some dudes go? God only knows. Microbiology. Alright, we're into the big... Starting to get into the big stuff. Um, amphibious warfare? Does sound like a bit of me. Let's get it. Colony grid, also pretty strong. Naval air strategy, pretty important too. Grab those. Okay, our pack up here is going to grab every single resource known to man. Neat. Turn a couple of them into manufactories. Probably get a decent harbour. Yeah, it was alright. Some oil out to sea. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Tried to make it a pun, it wasn't very good. Um, nice owl. Would you like to keep growing? Oh, of course. We're kind of a bit ring fenced. Okay, fine. I'll just make this a city then. It's Wellington! Ah, oh, how good. Boom, boom, boom. Oof. That's a big old test. Lucky we've got a lot of space. Wellington, I know you're a new city, but for some reason I'm going to make you build a fusion test. Very soon. Um, and what we might also do is grab that. Measly 40 sides. Grab all of them. Get an aerodrome by Bibli Boss. <laughs> Just do good things. We might like Wellington straddle this island as well. Just for a bit of fun. Cool. All right. That was a very fast city. Um, let's get marching up to old I want my independence, boy. I won't be able to ICBM there. I can ICBM somewhere else. Right? We've got heaps of space. This space is, this place is very sparse. Like here maybe? One, two, three. Oh, that could be in the way. Here? No. Some island in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You! Leave my harbour alone! As I shout from the top of my ship. Oh, we're gonna get slaughtered. We need boats. Right now. Right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to buy it. No. Oh. 
Uh, actually, as soon as I can't get it this turn, just build a nuclear submarine and I'll come back to you. <laughs> uh, Lou, Min, um. Not aluminium. Oh, that was good. That was, um, beautifully written out, Huck. But I'm not going to say aluminum. Don't you think it sounds a bit... No offense. Simple. <laughs> aluminum. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Extra syllable for no reason. No reason! <laughs> A L Al Um U M N I N E M Aluminium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm pretty confident that um, America doesn't know what it's doing. It's, it's the U. It's the U, too, isn't it? Americans like their ooh, ooh, for the instead of U. It's not alu. It's not aluminium. It's aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. Um, over time, I'll start to say aluminum for sure. I didn't used to say. I didn't used to say stupid, but now often I catch myself saying stupid instead of the correct pronunciation. Stupid. <laughs> I'm falling in. Falling in to Americanisms just by exposure. Just call it tinfoil. <laughs> Was anyone talking about aluminum foil? Or just... I think it's just you, Lazuli. On your feet. Because absolutely with you. If we're just talking about that roll of crap that people put their chickens in to cook them in the oven and not get burnt, we could probably just call it tinfoil, for sure. Much easier. And makes more sense. <laughs> we're really getting down to the serious issues today. Uh, one influence on research quarters for adjacent district. Sure. Aluminium is raw tinfoil. Tinfoil. Yes, and my point was more uh, aluminium. Like, when I think aluminium, I don't think, oh, that's what we <laughs> that's what we mine for tinfoil. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it, it's, it's used in construction, for example. Um, right. What are these two dudes going to do? Probably jump out into the sea and die, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Gonna finish off that fusion test one way or another. I need to make sure that we now kind of need to fight two people if we want to get the vassal victory, which makes it not impossible but a little bit fiddly. Okay, jump down there. Oh no, it's terrible! Retreat, 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 retreat! <laughs> That's bad. That city's quite strong. Maybe I should go for this one instead. I mean, we have Nassau right next door. Let's just click spawn. Click heavy machine gun. Kind of fun. Let's go Dragoon. And then maybe a heavy machine gun, because that, that looks cool. And a siege artillery. We're going to do it properly. <laughs> Plasters are band-aids, or every tissue is a Kleenex. <laughs> Brit Brits have hoovers for their vacuums, that they do. Um, for not tinfoil, but plastic wrap, everyone in New Zealand call well, Many people in New Zealand call it Glad Wrap after the brand Glad. So yeah, there's lo there's lots of weird things like that, eh? British biscuits versus Southern soul food biscuits. Oh yeah. 
Do, doesn't one of you, either Brits or Americans, I can't remember, call biscuits cake or cake biscuits or something wild? <laughs> or, 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 the, or cake isn't cake? Something like that. I can't remember. This is a tough fight. Am I still winning? Yes. <laughs> Just had to check. <laughs> British biscuits are cookies. Oh yeah, you guys call them cookies. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's really cute, America. Cookies. <laughs> cookies. Cookies. <laughs> you children. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sure why I found cookies funny. I think it's because it, I think it's because it, the last time I heard someone say it was probably a two year two year old like 15 years ago. <laughs> Anzac cookies. Oh, don't you dare! <laughs> you took something really respectable and made it into sounding like a child's food that would be mashed around their face and thrown onto the ground. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> I like that. I'm glad you told me that. I'm going to chuckle about that behind the scenes all day. It's not even that funny. Nothing wrong with the word cookies. Like, we use it here too. But interestingly, only for like one brand, cookie time. That would be the only time I'd ever say cookie. Because it's in the brand. Cookie time. <laughs> scones? Or scones? American biscuits aren't scones. I don't even know where scones, scones come in. Are the, do the American ones have icing though? <laughs> beow, 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 beow. Maybe they're just twice as big. Shots really fired against America today. Sorry to the 55% of my fans who I'm just ruthlessly ripping out about your aluminum cookies right now. Oh, shoot. I thought the game crashed. I just minimized it somehow. What's going on? I want that test done. These guys, exactly as predicted, have sailed out to nothing. So let's get rid of them. Um, that upgrade's too expensive and maybe not worth it. They flew that fight. Good news for me. Four warriors upgrade to riflemen. They lose their implacable and they only gain a little bit of extra damage. Hmm. I'll put one in each army, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, Asura, do you want to just deliver us some straight firepower that we can send up to this border and tidy this up, please? Make it a machine gun. I get some artillery. Chuck another rifle in there for good measure. Clean up versus chance of bad consequences for only 400 bucks. I think we can afford to clean up. Yep. <laughs> Just like we're cleaning up this game, am I right? We have Jaffa Cake. Oh, I'm very familiar with Jaffa Cakes. Yeah, love those. It's a pack of biscuits. But it's like a tiny stack of cakes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're kind of soft, right? I don't know. My face went I'm 44 minutes behind and just realizing it. Oh, hark. <laughs> it's a great emoji, though. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Minus 30% on unit industry cost. Sure. around a tax rule. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, true. The distinction between a biscuit and a cake will save you $10 million. They make you want to heave? Oh, I, <laughs> I liked them. I thought they were tasty. I went through a phase like seven years ago. They, they're really expensive in New Zealand because we don't make them. 
Um, she sent me a peace deal. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Make it half and half, three for three. How it's is coming online. Oh, here's some gunners I prepared earlier. That's nice. In fact, with them we can probably move in. Upgrade that swordsman to a rifle. We'll be away and laughing. And this fleet that we pooped out of New Zealand is actually in quite a good position. To take this down. Another one of Pete's cities. <laughs> Poor Pete. It's a five-pronged attack from all areas and kind of on accident. Hmm. I think I'll leave them. Children's rights? Okay, let's turn all of our children into nerds and get our research pumping. What are we on? Civil engineering, 15k science. We can do much better than that. Time for me to get another city as well. We're at 7 out of 7 on the cap. And with that technology just finishing, it's actually a great time uh, to build one as well. I don't think I want it to be that tile. Ah, who cares. One twenty. And 60 science. It'll do. Bit of science going on around the beehive there too. What does this do? Plus two industry on coastal water. Oh, that's kind of handy. Plus two industry on stone fields. Also quite handy because we have a lot of those. Because <laughs> there are... Well, there are basically no mountains on this entire map. Oh, 200 science out of a standard harbour. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that. Give me that too. And then get yourself another 200 with a couple of those. Nice. The city of Dorkland. I mean Auckland. Absconing with our intellectual property. Tyler, you're good. Brits laugh at us for using soccer. But they made it first. Yeah, soccer... Come on. Uh, New Zealand also calls it soccer. Not everyone. People who actually play football call it football. But the average New Zealander, you would catch them saying soccer for sure. Soccer? <laughs> like the rest of the world calls it football. Can we just reach some consistency, please, people? No, soccer. And like when the FIFA World Cup was on, most New Zealanders are walking around going, oh, the soccer cup. Well, we don't have American accents. The soccer cup's on. Soccer cup. Hey, the soccer cup. <laughs> oh, well. And the measurements. There are a lot of ridiculous measurements in history. It's easier to call it soccer in Canada. I, that's a great way of putting it. It's definitely easier to call it soccer in New Zealand too. And we're lazy, so. Let's <laughs> do what's easy. Oh. Take the L on that one. Hopefully storm in. Set that as the spawn so that whatever units are being trained now can pump straight out into it. Anything in one turn. Uh, oh yeah, one of these horse boys. I like them. Let's get one of those. It'll leave us with like eight units or something. I don't know if that's going to be enough, really, but we'll see. You'd like peace? I'd like to say no thank you. Uh, for some reason, I can't get through here and going the long way would be ridiculous, so we'll just sort of wait. You've got some crappy boats down there. But I'll take out that one first. There's a huge 
very cool looking unit. Let's position it on these evil dark eyes. Oh, look at it go. Got a naval strategy now. We're not just hoping for the best. Upgrade the worst unit. And let's take Takal. Meow. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to instant resolve that because I think it's going to be a very comfortable fight for us. It was. Music intensifies. Currently, two players. Required to be vassalized. Like cruise down to this city, gives that a bit of a bruising. Uh, oh, could be time to bruise up here too. 363. Wait, where's, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> okay. I'll give it one more turn. Fuse that again. <clears throat> and slowly making our way around to San Lorenzo as well. Army needs an upgrade. I'm not going to be able to do that. ICBM test time. Let's see if I do actually have space for it. Oh, look. That could be a nice spot for it. Hold on. Ah, oh, there's coal there. Bummer. I was going to say, here's something I've accidentally prepared earlier, and it's perfect. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it would be really nice if, um, if it would just highlight where you could place it. So that... Let's try Nassau. Oh, yeah, bam. Right there. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Cool, we're good. We're all good. Crises averted after all. Good stuff. <laughs> my queen. Oh, got my lighthouse. Got some units hiding in it too. Cool. Hold the line on the dragoon. Submarine. Not useful when Pete has no ships, but it's alright. Alright, get to work on that ICBM test, please. I want nuclear weapons yesterday. Let's beeline to Exosuit for the extra combat strength. And then probably through Neural Implant. Space. the military laser as well I guess uh, actually hold on cancel that I should probably just queue the end because there's not anything specific I'm actually looking for so like, I don't really need fighter jets we do want rocket science but we have to get that anyway yeah boom 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 cool our science has picked up uh, an incredible amount Lewis was just eliminated again. <laughs> Not sure why that animation played, but I do like the animation, so happy to hear it twice. That's been taken. I don't think we need to push um, that. Oh, I mean, we're already here. <laughs> May as well. Speaking of may as well, may as well just keep sailing around. <laughs> Now's the time to strike. Oh, only just. Let me see this manually. Machine gun at the front. Get the horse over there. Couple of gunners. All right. Ha <laughs> 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 Cool. Get 
pew, pew, pew. Okay, this is totally fine. Onto the auto, I think. The submarine's gonna come around for a look to do literally nothing. We've gotta thank the Canadians for basketball. Basketball, American football, and ice hockey. Funny that it's American football. <laughs> I'd love to watch ice hockey. That'd be pretty cool. It's just not here. Or at least, not that I know of. I said watch, not play. Also, no, no, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Everybody test the weapons, dang it. All of you, nah. One turn to go on the ICBM test. Of course, we're a little bit too far ahead with it, but it's okay. Um, so our two ongoing wars, once vassalized, we'll actually end the game. We've also got technology ramping up. I didn't have the turn limit on, but that would also be, um, in case you're unfamiliar, 21 turns away. This game would end by default at turn 150. What's going on? Become vassal to me, give Nanua, accept. Welcome back into the fold, King P. Pretorius. You tried for your independence, you failed. Welcome back. Happy to give second chances. Needing oil and a lot of money to upgrade this guy into an armored personnel carrier. Shoot, yeah. Cool. I want a tank. Fuse. Uh, oh, we already made peace with Pete, so we don't need those ships to fight there anymore. Let's bring them back to New Zealand. This is under permanent, somehow glitched siege, I think. I'm not quite sure what happened there. No siege engine for the besieger. No militia units. Yeah, I don't know. I think I broke that. Somehow. <laughs> it's been there for a long time. American football. Also something, as you can probably imagine, just doesn't exist here. Ice hockey, American football, no, no. Basketball? I can't actually relate to. Although I, I think you guys do it way better than we do though. It's not even comparable. Sub okay, so the submarine's been spotted. Not that that matters. Because no one else has one, so like, what are they going to do? <laughs> what are they going to do? Artillery strike! Oh, that would have been cool to shoot across there at that, but Pete made the right decision. How about you? More resolution? Still a long way off peace. Um, or securing a victory. We have one of their cities captured, and they're kind of stuck down here, really. It's just our slow-ass boats that can't make it around very fast. Radar, rocketry, and a nuclear weapons test has been completed. Merchant stars, all the good stuff. Where is this black city there? Ah, oh, man, we don't have anything in range so far away. I don't really want a space station. I'd much rather a PlayStation. <laughs> uh, you need a missile silo district to build. Okay. Let's get a missile silo. It's only one turn, so I should probably just not buy that, but I'm going to buy that. <laughs> so that I can queue up a weapon. A thermonuclear missile. Let's do it. We're also probably going to need 
maybe a mis a, some sort of carrier or something to get it across the sea? Do we have the proper carrier yet? I always get confused as to which one it is. I think it might be the one after this one, but maybe it isn't. Let me just check. It doesn't really matter. I can just build one. Not the missile cruiser. Certainly not the destroyer, obviously. All right. Good luck. You brave boy. We'll spawn that there, and we've got a missile there. <laughs> okay. I want you to just sit there and do nothing. Likewise, that submarine can just sit outside of Auckland and watch. Uh, as soon as it's... <sighs> As soon as we've not got much to do in this city, I might as well go to space. But actually, just get it some infrastructure. Didn't really want it, but we inherited it. So what can you do? And Pirate Island is going to build a literal spacecraft. How far we've come. The Aucklanders fly off to space too. Chucking their hats in the ring. And the race is on. King Jumbo Pixel has successfully built the first space station. A giant leap for humankind. And of course, this works the same way as the ICBMs in that we need to, well, similarly, in that we need to build another project and get cities to contribute to its production. Uh, this guy, really annoyingly, is going to block basically all of my movement this turn. So there's no real point. Might as well just <laughs> sail right up to him. And instantly resolve it. All right. Managed to slow me down for a turn. Little, little does she realize that as Queen Dusk and Dawn slows me down here, she's allowing me to get my nuke online. 20 science, 10 industry, and some money. That, those are, those um, benefits are so bad for this era in the game. Does Canada have a national rugby team? Rugby World Cup's in full swing. You're right. I've watched almost every pool match. Huge fan, for whatever reason, this year in particular, uh, of it. I'm following it weirdly closely. Um, and yeah, I, I was thinking, like, uh, Canada and the US just don't even bother with the Rugby World Cup. <laughs> like, come on. Samoa, Chile, Uruguay. But no America? I guess you can only focus in on so many things and sports that aren't a part of your culture and just don't get traction. Like anywhere. Maybe I put unreasonable expectations on America because it's so large and so wealthy um, <laughs> that it should play rugby against us. To be fair, also, they could have just tried and been really bad and not made it in. That's another option. I don't know what's true. US is busy calling things the World Series and winning them. Nice. If you want to be super confused as well as terrified, watch Aussie Rules. Oh yeah, what Aussie Rules? <laughs> Why is everybody making up their own footballs? Can't we just... <laughs> Let's just find some common ground. Look at the sick movement of the tank, by the way. It's huge. I like the sound design too. You reckon you can make it to the top three? That's a bold American call. <laughs> FEG, yeah, the underdog stars. Absolutely walloped the Wallabies, uh, the Australian team. Go Fiji. You put $5 on Fiji to win the Rugby World Cup, you'll win about $200 at the New Zealand bookies. I obviously am not interested, but, um, you know, if you're keen and think that Fiji has enough chance to win, you never know. They played very well. A little bit sloppy occasionally, but by and large pretty well. And they kept, up, kept it up as well. It wasn't this like... They weren't a 60-minute team, I think, one of the narrators said. And I was like, yeah, good point. 
they weren't. Slowly, slowly, we make our way around. Let science probe that. Quickly check in on the production lines. So the aircraft carrier is done. I thought I changed the spawn to that one. Apparently I didn't. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Nuclear missile still five turns away. <sighs> Could absorb that city. Might be faster. <clears throat> Maybe not. It always feels a bit risky. Very proud of how good Scotland. Go Scotland. Yeah. Scotland, Ireland. Wales, been playing very well, of course. England, I mean the whole UK, obviously. France, very good. South Africa, very strong. Wallabies, playing quite weak. New Zealand, honestly, playing quite weak. Um, I thought Japan might have been a bit stronger than they were. They were pretty good. But I had maybe placed my expectations just a bit too high on Japan. South Am Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Iceberg. Dead ahead. Unbelievable. Oh. How am I going to vesselize you? I've been sailing around that island. And there's a freaking iceberg in the way. <laughs> uh. Oh, I feel very demoralized by that iceberg. Okay, um, right. Well. Looks like we're going to need to send some land boys in. <laughs> Anti-aircraft gun. Anti-tank gun. Armored personnel carriers. That's the spirit. We're not probably fighting armored vehicles, but we'll do it anyway. Let's let's make this army. I guess it gives me time to get my nuke ready on the bright side, right? Every cloud doth have a silver lining, and that's probably the one. Me fidgeting around. Oh, they do show you. It's just hard to see. Should probably be a different color or something, maybe. Like a color map. Give me some green. Red or something. Um, What is this? Oh, this is Auckland. That's what most people ask, actually, when they get to Auckland. What is this? God. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> I can't believe that. How do, I just didn't even look, eh? I mean, well, we can still position them up here. They'll still be able to fire. We were hyped up about Japan playing England. Room for Japan to win screaming the whole time. Me too, real. I was like, go! Go, Japan! Because <laughs> the English may be playing just slightly weak as well. Not quite as weak as the Wallabies or New Zealand, but a bit weaker than average, maybe. So I thought, this is the moment. Scandinavian, Scandinavian team. Oh yeah, who else plays hockey apart from Can Canadians? <laughs> but of course, yeah, Scandinavia would be a good fit. Like you know, with rugby, it's it's British colonies, and since then it's expanded into South America, um, quite a lot, um, more areas of the Pacific, uh, Eastern Europe a little bit too, with the likes of Georgia and others. Um, but it is largely, a, of course, historically. A British colonial thing. That's why you've got New Zealand, Australia, the UK, South Africa, you know. It's a British game, I, I suppose. I actually don't know where it came from. Communication satellites researched. Neat. An ace lead star. We're still getting era stars. Shows how poor my production was. Um, I'm hoping that this is the right ship that I need to load up a nuclear weapon. 
taking me two turns to get it to this spawn point. <laughs> no. I'm going to ignore the infrastructures. Those units are also spawning at the wrong place. Thankfully, they're cars, so they can drive really far past old Pirate Cove. Remember that from three hours ago? That was fun. Poor Romania got destroyed by South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Sorry, Eastern Europeans. But you, you do need a bit more time and practice and probably funding if you wanted to compete at that top level. Romania, Georgia, you're getting smashed. <laughs> you're getting smashed. Um, but it's still enjoyable rugby. Like, I still watch those games. It's always fun to cheer for an underdog, too, I find. South American rugby, I've been impressed by the most though I think I already said that but I have been very impressed by our South American friends putting in work who was it that gave France a run for their money was that Uruguay or Nam I don't think it was Namibia maybe it was Namibia actually I can't remember someone gave the French B-side a run for their money anyway um okay Let's get sailing over this land invasion. It can move over in a couple of different parts. You're just going to position yourself there now. Unless there's something you could poach while you're here. Oh, there is. Cool. All right. We'll do a little bit of poaching. <laughs> a little bit of piracy to round out the game. Why not? And for no reason, I'm going to get a fleet of missile cruisers in Auckland. Because they're a very cool ship. Much cool. And pick out a few of those, just so that Pirate Island has something to keep itself busy with. And we will reflect on life beyond the stars. That's cool. Uruguay. They're playing Namibia tomorrow. Thank you. I always I get that pull around the wrong way. I keep putting Uruguay in Namibia's games and Namibia in Uruguay's ones for some reason. Um... They played at Namibia tomorrow. Oh god, what time's that gonna be? I hope it's not 4 a.m. again. <laughs> I hope it's one of the later games. Can't remember. I've got the thing out on the fridge, like a boomer. Cut it out of the paper, put it on the fridge. Here's my rugby games, I said to myself. <laughs> uh, what have I become? Uh, right. Wellington. Beautiful city. If not, a little bit windy and kind of weird. Um. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're cruising across the land. Our naval str <laughs> What are you doing? They don't have a naval strategy, clearly. Our naval strategy lets us embark, disembark much easier, much more readily. So actually this land invasion, not quite as painful as I thought it might have been. Now, what kind of range do we have on the thermo? I can't believe we're actually going to get to launch a nuke too. This humankind game's had a little bit of everything. I didn't even take a break. I should have. So I'm just going to drink this coffee cold now. Um... So it doesn't look like it's a valid target too far away. I was hoping for a, like a, again, a colored overlay, but that's all right. Also, where is my rebase? I hope we don't end up just having to shoot it in the ocean. <laughs> I guess it's, I guess it'll be fine. 
Should we vote on nuclear weapons? So that's fun. Let's do that. We're voting on nuclear weapons. And uh, I'm in favor of proliferation. I really don't have a lot of influence. Look at that. Jeez. They could vote me down in a heartbeat. So we've sort of missed the bottom. Mechanized harvesting. We don't yet have suburbs. They're a bit confusing. Um, this would have been a nice upgrade for our science too, but I completely rejected that. Can I actually get... <laughs> can I get... Aluminum? Uh, can I get some aluminum, please? So let's grab that. And then come back for the military laser and the other garbage. I doubt that these would have the strength to just take this city. What is this? Is this a city? Oh, it's an outpost. Of course. It's a huge one. Absolutely massive. There's some units running around. Commandos. The contemporary era units are very cool. The artwork, style. It's all great. Uh, should I queue up the Mars colony now? I don't want it to accidentally cross over, but I want it ready just in case. Turn 138. A giant military Death Star looking thing has been built. Another 300 fame. And combat strength against air units. One of the empires is yet again close to a victory. Who knows what it could be? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get slaughtered if I run in now. Probably not time to get this down there. Or anywhere meaningful, really. We know that we can't sail in around this way, so uh, kind of redundant. Oh look, I can actually just strike from there. Awesome. Okay, so... <laughs> we're gonna nuke our fleet into the ground. I'm so sorry. You served us well. Here we go, everybody. A moment that we haven't uh, had in a very, very long time. Let's launch a thermonuclear missile. Very cool. Smack bang there on San Lorenzo. Unfortunately, it is gonna take out the, the Navy who did all of the hard lifting for us. But nonetheless, there's a nuclear launch for you. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Whoa, our viewers just jumped off a cliff. Everyone's like, I can't bear to watch. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. I hope the stream didn't crash or anything. Oh no, it looks like about half of you are still watching. How would, how would half of people just disappear like that? Oh well. Maybe because we're close to the end. Get that Mars colony ready. Chuck in a couple of infrastructures, just kind of wham, bam, 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 bam. The nuke, uh, by the way, will roll in at the start of the next turn. There's a turn in between, so that the opponent can respond. Like now. <laughs> Thanos, what did you do? <laughs> it does actually look like a Thanos click. It's like 60 viewers, 60 viewers, 60, 30. Thanks for letting me know the World Wide Web has been researched. Yike. All these temples. Temple of Artemis looking. It actually just... It's gone. <laughs> I forget that sometimes. I'm playing like Civ 6, see? I've got my dudes and I'm ready to run in and take the city after nuking it. But actually, that's not how this works. 
Thermonuclear weapons in humankind are actually really big and powerful, and it just completely wiped it out. <laughs> Should I claim the territory on my way by? We can't claim it on that filth land. That's a shame. Oh well, with only one city left, I reckon m might even go for it now. Let's see. Goodness, there's a lot of stuff. No, they won't. Maybe because of the nuke? I don't know. The nuke just ruined my chance of vassalizing them because the city is deleted? I hope not. The in-game could use a bit of jazzing up. I actually really like the in-game units. I think they're cool. I think it could be the jazziest part, though maybe not the most interesting, you're right. Because the early game has that discovery aspect to it, doesn't it? Um, what is this? They want freedom. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. What is this? It was this thing that I thought was an outpost. Oh, because we nuked the main city. Ah. Maybe an opportunity has presented itself here after all then. If we can grab that one, that'll give us war score. Straight away. I oh, don't know, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> okay, so we're not quite... Watch to see the contest. Yeah, I agree. We're not actually quite gonna be able to vassalize everyone because now another player wants their freedom. Blood. Oh, the freedom cries. And without units nearby, and with, uh, as we were just discussing, People looking to, to be honest, probably go to bed or get about their days. Uh, I'm going to ditch the vassal dream and simply go to Mars instead. A nice backup plan. I'm stoked that we got the nuke off. That's pretty cool. We did a little bit of piracy this game. Uh, more than obviously I've ever done before. Had some pretty good spawns of gladiators. What are you doing? Um, had some pretty good cities. They weren't ginormous ginormous, but they were pretty good. Um, 57, 64. We never struggled for food. That was fun. And of course, how could I forget the start? Oh look, another person wants their freedom. Everyone's rebelling against me right at the end. <laughs> it's kind of poetic actually. Will you become my vassal right at the end? Do a swap? Yes, you will. Vassal swap. Like wife swap. Let's also just at the end here, because this is quite cool. Use this missile. Oh, I moved it. Oh, lol. Now you're not going to get it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I was going to show. I was going to say, let's do an artillery strike. But then I moved. I wonder what one missile cruiser looks like against four horses. A funny thing, nonetheless. Pew, 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 pew. See, that's cool. That's way cooler than the early units. Right, you can stay put. You can stay put. You can work on a geosynchronous satellite. Everyone can do it on the way out. Oh, hold on, we missed a wolf. Sailing club, I mean. Here we go. <laughs> and welcome to the end game. We made it with a science victory as New Zealand. Played through every single oceanic culture we could muster. Although, uh, we did pick, of course, uh, the pirates rather than the oceanic Māori in Era 4. But apart from that, we also largely focused on all of the new cultures. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me check. Is radiation a thing? No, but Al's right. Those wasteland territories kind of act 
like radiation. Got the tongue, I built them a mood. Usually the players are so asymmetric. You don't get modern armies clashing. Yeah, that is the problem, isn't it? That's it. You don't actually get to see um, a lot of the late game stuff because the game's kind of wrapping up. <laughs> uh, obviously, it was very comfortable victory. I don't think we need to <laughs> stoked about it. I don't think we need to look too close at that. And of course, you've joined me um, throughout this journey as we've picked these cultures. I'd be interested in... <laughs> look at that science. Straight to the top. We should have been the wealthiest too, absolutely. The most influential, yes, from a very early point. Not the most stable, I would never win that prize. The most populous, by far, the most ah, well-fed, the most religious. Fantastic stuff, brilliant. Ayo, I just missed everything. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Uh, that, might, that, everybody, will conclude this stream. Let me put us onto the ending. Um, thanks for joining me two days ago and then again today. I think we got a pretty solid dub. Pretty pleased. Pleased with the nuke. Very pleased with the oceanic cultures too. Uh, and do I have any thank yous to deliver? I don't think so. A two. Yes. Misha and Archibuzz. Thank you for using your um, Twitch Prime subscriptions over on Twitch. And that wraps us up. Uh, thanks to everybody who is chatting as well. Makes a big difference. Al, Pete, Big, Lazuli. It really does. It makes it, you know, change from me sitting here talking to myself to something much more engaging. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for tuning in.